Hallo meine Freunde von Internet und willkommen aus Quest und Cthulhu. Ich bin deine Game Master Ezra Dini und heute spielen wir... Co oh wait, I'm not in Germany anymore. That's very confusing. Yes. Great. Yes. Uh, hello Internet friends. <laughs> welcome back to Quest and Cthulhu. It's so great to have you here. Uh, it's been a minute since we've all been together at the yeah. table. I mean, uh, um, you may notice... Uh, Amy, unfortunately, her travels continue. She is in Las Vegas right now. Oh, she was. So yeah. Sorry. yeah. Mm. No, that's not Amy. Oh, <laughs> that's that's, Amy. Yeah. I'm so sorry. This is, you this know, is, this is they're still general. getting to know each other. Oh, it's God. very exciting. Uh, so, thank you so much for uh, your likes, your subscribes, your comments. We we love to talk. Thank you for stop. Oh, they almost stopped. Uh, we love to we love to engage with you guys and uh, YouTube, Twitch. However you want to do it, ICQ if you're Russian, uh, Weibo, <laughs> I, I maybe I don't know. Uh, so we are, uh, of course, brought to you by the most important thing coming from Germany. I can say beer is indeed the the mana of everything. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I I still don't like it, but you know, uh, Gordon Biersch is our kind beer sponsor that keeps our players well lubricated. And uh, sometimes for the good, sometimes for the not, who knows? But it is great to uh, have beverages at the table. That is lovely. Yes. Now we just need a snack sponsor. <laughs> because, you know, there's nothing better. I, so, as an aside, I listened to a, uh, a, I used to listen to a gaming podcast of some guys who play uh, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, because I love the Warhammer mm. Fantasy Roleplay system. They eat. On the stream. On the oh my uh, god! And I can't. What I just. Go wrong I actually that? sent them a message, and I was like, "I love your game. Really fun. Please stop eating. I can't listen." And the guy, the very next episode, they like passive aggressively were like eating louder. Oh, geez. and one guy went, "Sorry, listeners, snacks must be had." And I'm like, "I'm done." That's yeah. No, uh, more. no I, I, I have that thing where if I, if I can hear you chew, I have plotted your death. And there, <laughs> And there was one podcast that I was listening to where I was like, I will find whoever just opened and ate chips because I can hear it. I can hear uh, every chip in your mouth because you are too close to the microphone. One of my theories <laughs> of successful relationships is like you become the person that you can't hear their food noises mm -hmm. is like the person that you're meant to be with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Sounds we are far nice. afield. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Snacks are pretty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's why we only have beer. We don't, you know... Uh, Cheetos or Funyuns are not sponsoring us, uh, but get at us, Frito Lay. Uh, <laughs> no. Game Castle, great stuff. So there is, you get 20% if you pre order items. I am currently looking at, there's a new, uh, I saw it at Essen, it's beautiful. There's a new uh, supplement for Call of Cthulhu oh. that is all based around the Weimar Republic, Germany. Uh, and it looks great, and I might be uh, dropping some cash at Game Castle once I am not bankrupt from buying board games. Uh, that's my heart. It's like, <laughs> well, like a Poe novel now. It's just a, um, and you're, we've got that survey that uh, uh, is set there. If you put survey in the chat, you've, you're going to fill it out. So... Uh, Fill out the survey. There, there you go. That's yeah. uh, let, it, let us know what you want to see from us. We'd like, there you to, go. We'd like to know. Yeah. Say more Cthulhu. Say less D and D. <laughs> <laughs> we only need to have one more Call of Cthulhu stream to be even with D and D. There you go. Uh, or we make this one twice I think as long. I am in favor like, of that. Ooh. I think one Double more the one more stream would kill somebody here. I don't know who, but <laughs> probably me. It would be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd be on it. Yeah, that's right. You, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, so uh, yeah, we, we, we want your feedback. We want to know what you'd like to see more of. Um, we will probably not ignore it. Smarter people than me will look at it and make good decisions, and I will make fun of those decisions. Uh, that's, that's how things work around here. Uh, so Amy is, uh, as I said, in Las Vegas, uh, working hard, although she keeps just sending us pictures of the food she's eating, so... Um, I, li I liked your comment in the email thread about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, most of her work is digestion. It's uh, find, finding out where you can get a modium in, uh, in uh, Las Vegas. Jeez. That's a, don't every, Google that. Probably every <laughs> gift store, because everyone needs one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so, when we last left our... Uh, um, I feel like I can, yeah, Heroes, I think Heroes is in quote marks, officially. Uh, 
Uh, I, I don't think heroes are wanted generous. by the NYPD <laughs> Dep- for murder. Depends. Uh, of a police officer. Uh, an Depends. assault on another police but officer. But was he a police officer at the time? <laughs> wow. Well, you I know. I think they're getting off on a technicality. <laughs> I mean, he's a law person. There you go, yeah. Uh, and when we, last, when we left our last session, uh, uh, after a cameo by the Baroness, which... <laughs> the uh, yes, well no, that was the Duchess. Yeah, and don't true. mix the two up. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I got in trouble for. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I'll take your dice when you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I still, I'm down a die. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, but fry. Uh, uh, in the game, yes, uh, there was a there was a, a a stand made for truth, justice, and the American way against the British aristocracy. No. And we saw. Uh, I was just uh, drunk. <laughs> Heroic, and, heroically <laughs> drunk, but and, it was and pissy because you were all. If they're gonna make me be first class, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm... Uh, it was uh, it was a beautiful moment that I'm sure will not come back to bite anyone anywhere. Uh, and, and the uh, the Duchess has exited the boat. She leaves early. Uh, you are all exiting the boat into London. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are now in London. It is, what, January? January 30th. Did, January 30th. did we land in London? Or did we, or did South we, sorry, Hampton. you land in Southampton. Southampton, South Hampton. South Hampton. Yes. that was it. You land in Southampton, South and then mm-hmm. you take like a four-hour train ride right. to London mm-hmm. proper. So we the, arrive like the evening of the 30th? Same day or the next? Uh, it is the same. So you, you get in in the morning in Southampton. Okay. So you get to London the afternoon. Okay. Um, by the mm-hmm. time you've gotten into your hotel and gotten everything figured out and somehow snuck all those weapons through customs, mm. uh, by the time you've done all that, it is uh, the evening of the 30th. Good. And uh, it is... Uh, you are in London, so uh, just to... Because it's been a little while, just to remind you of the loose ends that you sort of have here in London... Uh, there's the Penhue Foundation, which you found information about in yes. uh, in New York. There is the uh, the Scoop, the newspaper that Jackson Elias had done some writing for, uh, and the editor, whose name is Mickey Mahoney, at the Scoop. Um, Wasn't the Irishman in to talk to him? Some of uh, yeah. <laughs> dueling bad accents. Is <laughs> uh, are the, 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 like slide back and forth. Cannot understand like, each other at all. <laughs> it'll end yeah. up sound like Hans and Franz oh. or something. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 and uh, some of you remember a lovely cottage in uh, 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 in the a uh, London suburb that you could visit mm. uh, with a nice old lady. No, we're not going there. <laughs> um, the other loose end, the other connection you have is um, Inspector James Barrington, who is uh, an inspector with uh, Scotland Yard. He's a cop, Yard. right? Mm-hmm. He is very much, he is the policeman's <laughs> policeman. No. Uh, but you've right. had we such good like interactions anything. with the police up till now. Mm. <laughs> um so those are those are the main connections that you have here in London. And I also um, have a, a list of action points that Emma would have told Alexandria before she. That's right. Like we caught it catatonic and yeah. Her, her oh yeah, you room. also know where a cre- you also know about a warehouse <laughs> in Soho. Oh, let's check that out. It's not. <laughs> um, I, 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 don't I mean, want, as long as you don't fumble. I don't want to watch you guys turn into dust too either. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> I was not told that turning what? into dust was part of this. You know, um, it's a. So, uh, <laughs> I'm a nerd. What do you want? <laughs> nerds, uh, are right? nerds, nerds are pretty good. Yes. Uh, so yeah, you uh, you have you've situated yourself in a. Well, actually, I'll ask you. You, you do you have a flat in yes, London? Yes, I still have a flat. Okay, so you have mm-hmm. a flat in London, uh, and then you've situated yourself. Are you going for? The Ritz? Are you going for a second tier hotel? What is your? We're we're, we're we're getting at least two hotels. So that was the question. Yeah. <laughs> are yeah, we yeah, getting yeah, a backup yeah, yeah. hotel, yeah, yeah. and then which of the hotels are second we actually tier. staying we don't need, at? We don't need the 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 second tier is fine. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you will stay um, at the Pemberton. Mm-hmm. The Pemberton is a very mm-hmm. solid, uh, a fine hotel. Uh, it's not the Ritz, but you know, it's a bed. Uh, and um, the Pemberton is very close to downtown, so you are in the thick of everything in London. 
Uh, and, and, uh, and my flat is in Notting Hill. There we or, go. or at least it was in the other universe. Sure. No, it's, it's Notting Hill? What? Notting Hill. Oh. It is not on a hill. <laughs> That's all we know. We don't know where it is. <laughs> it's not like super posh, but it's not, you know, the slums either. Gotcha. Okay. Um, the, uh, I think you had, so the reason that you know the scoop is that you had two articles from the scoop. One was about uh, the uh, some murders in a town called Lesser Edale, which is uh, you know you might know, but anyway, it's it's a um, it's a uh, it's outside of London um, in the uh, in the hill country, uh, a very small village. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other one was, uh, and this is the connection to, to Inspector Barrington, mm -hmm. was about what they're calling the Egyptian murders. Yeah, that's, gotcha, that's right. Uh, <clears throat> where most of the victims have been Egy have been Egyptians uh, who came to uh, uh, came to London, and uh, there is uh, you might you probably remember a little bit more about those after discussions with Barrington about some locations and things like that, um, but for the most part, what you know from that article is that uh, there have been a number of murders that have all had the same M.O. They're calling them the Egyptian murders, and um, the this might sound familiar. The victims are beaten severely and then stabbed through the heart mm -hmm. in a manner curiously similar to other murders that have taken place. But this has been going on for over three years yeah. in London. Mm, okay. And uh, Scotland Yard does not want to admit that there's any connection, but all of the you know the the tabloids, including the Scoop, are running wild with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a uh, <laughs> there is a a whopping 24 pound reward for information that leads to the apprehension of mm. hey 24 pounds is not nothing in yeah, yeah. I, I, I would have thought it'd be higher with, with, since two of them were Brits <clears throat> so the evening of the 30th you're probably just going to relax have dinner mm -hmm. get settled in yeah. so the 31st is a Saturday yes uh, it is a, a lovely day. There are, um, you know, though you would know that there are any number of great uh, research facilities. Yes. The British Museum, the, mm -hmm. the British, the main library. Yes. There are uh, mm -hmm. all sorts of places to do all kinds of research. Uh, the Penn U Foundation would also be right up there. And that's where I was thinking that would be a good place to start. Mm -hmm. um, and and is, is Emma, like, Asleep in her room because she's so, not feeling well. Or Emma is yeah. Emma is is not <clears throat> feeling well. Uh, um, I mean, Food. you're pretty sure that she was up late drinking. Mm. That's mm. that's all right. She's hung over. Uh, <laughs> She'll you be have fine. three inspiration. By the way, I have to remember about this stuff. Well, one over here. Yeah, we Let's actually have inspiration. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And viewers, so maybe we'll get more. Yeah. How can we squander this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Spot hidden. <laughs> you know, this is your chance to catch up on the on the Amy board, because you know when Amy's she isn't not here, here. What's her total right now? Amy's total is she has. I'm so happy there's. She has total. five Amys. Nobody else has three. I've got one, right? You've got one. Okay. I, th I think I have two. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. But uh, Amy is the undisputed queen of Amy. Right? I yes. mean, which by the way, she's the reason why we named it's it. It's named that. after it is, her. Yeah. Yes. Epon eponymous. Mm -hmm. The eponymous Amy. Is that how that's pronounced? When I pronounce it, eponymous. Mm -hmm. I, I have the reader problem where, I, where where I know how to spell it, but I, so, I don't know how to pronounce it. We could have a lovely English breakfast on the thirty first and gather it somewhere and discuss our options. There are stewed tomatoes and beans. And beans. Ah, oh, that's English breakfast. That is yes, English breakfast. That's English breakfast. That's bloody it's English. English. <laughs> you could go oh, to the grocery Irish store. Is uh, <laughs> much more filling. <laughs> There's more beer involved. Indeed. And, and, and the oatmeal too. And oatmeal, and oatmeal, oatmeal right. with the whiskey. There you Just go. There's got to be a place that has pastries. Mm -hmm. Oh, certainly. <laughs> I will find it. Mm -hmm. uh, in in Germany, there is actually they have what they call Munich breakfast that is a vice first in a beer. Mm. Wow. Nice. We're in the wrong country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. We're here, but we're here now. So let's. But we're here right. and we have work to do. Yes. So 
Emma's not feeling well. Right, mm -hmm. but she she and I had a conversation about things that she wants us to look at, which, you know, we can enter into Great. the lexicon of, this may be a good idea or not, uh, mm -hmm. so because Emma. Just to make sure, mm -hmm. you and Emma have been here before. To London, I was, I was born here. Well, I mean, remember we... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean that. I mean, you've, you've experienced London before. I think that was implicit with the being born. <laughs> I was born here, so yes. Uh, perhaps I'm not being So clear. what are the you're, options you're really that we, we want to look you've, at? Um, <laughs> where should we not go? <laughs> you've, you've followed the story of Jackson Alliance once before to London, and then things happened, and now you're, you're reliving certain things again. What? Oh, what? 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 No. What makes you? I thought we discussed that? this no. back in New York. No. <laughs> he might have. No. I, we didn't discuss any such thing, what, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. What I understood is that they were they were looking for these things, but uh, <clears throat> you may yeah. have had suspicions. I, I think I'm blissfully unaware of this. <laughs> I believe there was. I, I may have been drinking, so perhaps forgive me. But I thought at one point, after many many whiskeys, I had heard that you, you would that this is a second time, something to the effect that this was another chance that you had to not mess up, make the same mistakes again. Well, you did ask if I'd been to the Juju house before, I recall that, and asked that, that I, if I had escaped, and yes, that's the case. Um, as to the other, I don't think we discussed that. Probably not, th I think maybe it was just my, uh, the alcohol. Hmm. Talking, but in any matter, there's always a lot mm. wherever we are. The, the reason we're in this <laughs> this horrible city, I'd rather not be in, is we're supposed to be following the footsteps of the Carlisle, the Carlisle expedition. expedition. They were here for a time. For a little while, yes. H how long were they here? I can tell you. Thank you. I, I think <laughs> it was 13 days, but let me get the exact. So um, they, you know, the, you know the basic Dance. outline. <laughs> You know the basic outline of their travels, mm -hmm. which was on the last page I'm going to look for. I should really just control F the PDF on this. Wow. Uh, and Carlisle X. Here we go, timeline. Uh, so they left. They left uh, New York on the 5th of April, 1919, arrived in London on April 14th. They left London on April 28th. So about two weeks. 1919. Exactly. And then arrived in Cairo. They arrived in the Cairo first. on the 15th of May. <clears> the <throat> oh, 15th. My handwriting, I said my handwriting was bad. <laughs> 15th of May, 1990. Um, they arrived in Cairo, and then they did. Um, did you just say 1990? 1919. <laughs> It's very and time travelers. <laughs> uh, and then they left for a vacation, a safari right, in right. Kenya, on the third of July, nineteen nineteen. Six years ago. Sorry, they left Egypt on the eighteenth of July. Mm -hmm. They planned the safari on July third. Uh -huh. uh, they arrived in Kenya on July thirtieth, and they died shortly thereafter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bloody tongue. Or so is believed. Well, that was one or of the so reasons is we were going to go over to the, 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 P, right. the so foundation. So for two to get weeks, some contacts. they were here in London. What were they doing? Where did they go? Who did they see? Who did they talk to? We want to retrace their steps, right? Yes. Oh. And there was also uh, some Not of particularly. No, actually. Well, that's the that's reason. No, that's to the point they died. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally why I wanted to go to the, the, the Pihu yeah. P. Foundation. Pihu. That's correct. Pihu. I mean, Jackson's paying for us to basically retrace these steps. Yes. Well, well to, have a little to investigate them, but that doesn't to necessarily... Die. Like, I'm, I would be more interested in reaching out to anyone who investigated and, and see if there's any information. We're like, well, this is too crazy to put in a report. We'll take that. Right. <laughs> well, that... so And that would lead towards Mickey Mahoney. That, and the guy that Jackson... Because Jackson right, met scoop. with him right. uh, yeah. about... Mm -hmm. about who knows what? So yes, that's but, yes, but he also writes for a yellow paper. Very little is too crazy to go into that. Yeah, how reliable well, is that we'll, paper? We'll have to filter through the crazy, but hey. Well, yeah. but it's, if, if, it's, we if it's coming from Jackson Elias, it's all crazy because it's all true. 
and that sounds crazy to everyone else. It's crazy, but true. Yes. Oh, bloody hell. All right. Yes. So, so do we want to um, uh, make a plan? Go yeah. to yeah. several different places. Now we mm -hmm. we're gonna split up the team. <laughs> it's probably more efficient if we do that. I we can cover twice as much ground. Well, yes, and, and because... Unless we split up four ways, and then we have well, four... Okay, so... Because so, there are different well, things that there's we there's the newspaper and the Penny Foundation. Mm -hmm. Let's split those between those two locations. It should be safe locations. Relatively. Right? Um, I suppose I could go to the newspaper, uh, the, the Penny people. I, I will not be of much use at a university, but I think you two are better at that. Oh, I wanted to go to the newspaper, but... <laughs> okay, yeah, we can... So you two are going to the Penny Foundation, you two are going to the to the newspaper. I Sounds can't good. imagine any way this would go wrong. <laughs> can't go wrong. Uh, We're just going to read books and in Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nothing um, bad ever happened. No. Let, let, let me just quickly go over the, the action items that Amy and I talked about. Well, actually, so this is a great point. Just I think sure. one, since you're going to split up, mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. thing that would be... A, soup, a great idea is coming up with the questions that you want to ask yes. mm -hmm. at both yes. the Penu Foundation and at the newspaper. And at the scoop, yeah. Right. Uh, right. And so sort of, you know, take a few minutes amongst, brainstorm amongst yourselves questions that you want to ask there um, so that you don't, uh, not, to, not to throw any other Cthulhu games that are going on here uh, uh, under the bus, but you don't just wander in and start talking about the cats of uh, Iceland and their connection to Egypt. One of the things we were talking about is getting contacts in Cairo from them. That's a good, good call. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm just curious if they, uh, if they checked out any literature or talked to anyone in particular mm -hmm. to do research yes. before going. Okay. Now, and we don't even need to show up for that. We could, like, send them a letter and, like, we are doing an investigation for them, the request, and then we can just show up and have all the information so ready for us. One thing I'm, I'm wondering about, the, the uh, expert that went on the Carlisle expedition was from the, the Penny, Penny, right? Yes. It would be good to find well, uh, out everything you can about that individual. Uh, who was he? What did he believe? Sir Aubrey Penny. Yeah, find out how much of, he's named. So it's his foundation. In fact, you would know because mm -hmm. uh, of who you are. Uh, Sir Aubrey Penny was the executive director and founder of the Penny Foundation. The Penny Foundation was created to foster English studies of Egyptology and Egyptian archaeology. Oh, yeah, no, and they've, they've been really, had some really great stuff coming out of them. They, um, it, it was started in 1890 by Sir Aubrey, um, and uh, it has funded a number of expeditions to Egypt. And it, its work continues after the sad loss of its founder, Sir Aubrey Pinhew. Mm. So it sounds like Aubrey himself went on the Carlisle expedition. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. he that, was one of the members of the Carlisle. That's a big right. deal. Like, yes. Why would he do that? What was it about this expedition you know, that made him that was leave so his, and go with these ne'er-do-wells from New York City? And that, and that actually was a couple of the points that Emma wanted us to hit on. Uh, to get an introduction to the curator at the Cairo Museum, there's a, a, an al -Azif book as she mentioned. <laughs> In passing. Does anybody have Cthulhu mythos? Yes. No. You can roll it. <laughs> I don't have much, but I have more than I should. Yep, nope. All right. I, I think it's fine. That Emma okay. yep. suggested that we do a book. I rolled a 21, I... but I, and I only have a five and, and only. So, yep. so Emma knows the name of Everyone a book. make a luck roll. Oh. You can't Lucky. make me. Right now. <laughs> I am not going to make this roll. 48 is a success. Did anybody get a hard success? Not a hard success. Hard? No. How do you get a hard on standard luck? It's half. Oh, it's half your luck. Shh. You have ah. to do math. Uh, <laughs> no. So, I'm, I get it. Oh, yeah, exactly. exact. I didn't exact. get it. a success. So nobody got a hard success. Regular success. Nope. Regular, Regular. success. Yeah. Uh-oh. I want to thank Lucifer Vilshack and, of course, the Hefner for giving me this inspiration. <laughs> Oh. Thanks, guys. <laughs> if you'd just gotten a hard success, one of you would have gotten it. Yeah, yeah. When are you going to learn to stop putting things in your mouth? <laughs> you licked one Please of the never coasters. Say that, again. <laughs> <laughs> that coaster was delicious. <laughs> I'm so, so, I mean, no, that it was, gets no. a pass. No. No. If, you are, if you ever have the chance to come to the Quest and Chaos studio, do not lick the coasters. Well, I mean, it was tasty when I licked it, that. so. Uh, uh, but, but thank you, and thank you. Uh, uh, both of you, and it's been a while. Thank you, Hefner, for all the ridiculousness that you do. Uh, I swear that it, Thomas spells Hefner differently every single time. <laughs> yeah, probably. 
Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, keep doing your questions. I just, that was, yes. I had to nice. say that properly dramatically. Right. Yes, as you do. Um, so that was a touch the Penny Foundation. Oh, one of the things that she wanted to know is if someone is missing from history, how do you know? She didn't if ask someone... that. You didn't read it out loud, though, right? That is a... Uh... <laughs> That was, you kept that part to yourself? That question is so highly metaphorical. So I can metaphorical. keep my yes. blissful <laughs> ignorance? No, it's talking about um, some, some... Just some, a hypothetical... Oh. Well, I think, didn't you guys find out about, like... Uh, the queen. Yeah, the there queen. was, like, the periods of... I mean, it's oh, happened throughout history. There's, there's yeah. evidence. Were erased you from you find evidence of, like, oh, there was a person here, but everyone says that there isn't, and then there's things that back well, it up, and, and it's and like, oh... I'm trying to remember if she told us specifically about, like, the black pharaoh being excised from history and, and yes. him, yeah. all of that. Right. But I mean, because it, 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 was, it was a source you know, you for the king. night decrease. I mean, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And there is, I mean, there are records. numerous examples in history. The Romans were famous for it. it was just like, like, this you know, person sucks. Bye. If we yeah. get rid of every monument to them, it's like they never exactly. existed. Yeah. Yeah, the Brotherhood of the Black. Yeah. But somehow we, but somehow there was enough information that we found out about it. How does that happen? Um, and she also wanted. Uh, she said something about find see, right. see if there's someone. See if there's someone who is in the non-mundane research. Yes. And yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, also no. possibly someone to connect us back to Erica Carlisle to get those papers. Sure, good luck on that. Yeah. I'm not the one for that one. Well, could, could you ask him about the Black Pharaoh? Well, well, that's what I was thinking. How, 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 we what, get, when we say non-mundane research, we might say we've seen there were some hieroglyphs and, and, and symbols that I saw um, that would talk about Nidocris or the Black Pharaoh, and I can mm -hmm. ask about those so and see if there's anybody who would know about them. Mm -hmm. More importantly than all these questions that we have, uh, how do we introduce ourselves and justify them answering the questions to us? Well, so... PhD. Yeah. Well, no, but it's just like, I'm a professor. Tell me all the things about this. Well, as an arch I mean, as an archaeologist, so, y I mean, you would know that you can join, join. the yes. Penu Foundation. Yep. And a fee, it, perhaps. It's a museum, a library, and a reading room. And so you can just... You know, become a member, hmm. and, and go there. And you know, you probably won't. You know, they for they'll give you. You know, they'll give you whatever they can give you, even as a filthy, filthy American. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So um, <laughs> I would just just, uh, just jump no, right over that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's cool. Um, no, I I would uh, I figured I'd go there. We join the foundation, right? That's the first thing. But I also have since I have a little bit of things that I may be able to tell them, they may want to talk to me. If I, especially if we mention Nye to Chris, Black Pharaoh. Yeah, see if somebody there wants to talk about those subjects. Exactly. Well, that's a big question. If, if people know about those things, they may not want to talk about them. The other thing you know is the new head, the current head of it, and I think you already have this written down, but it's Edward Gavigan. Yes. Is the current... Mm -hmm. the found, uh, and Edward Gavigan. He is the current executive director. That's the person... Of the Penn U Foundation. That we can contact. And I like your idea of writing a letter first, just not just showing up on their doorstep. And but, asking for all the things. But I'm writing, I would write a letter to them saying that there are several areas that I'm interested in. I heard they were a great foundation, blah, 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 okay. blah, blah. Uh, are you mention? is this letter like super generic? You're just, you're interested in Egypt? Is it? I'm going to make it mostly generic and then and then talking about a little bit, you know, wanting to go to Cairo. Okay. That kind of thing. Are you going to so. mention the Carlisle expedition? I mean, if we're if we want to know yes. what any anything so. that they checked out, I mean, I think we almost have to, like, just be upfront and leave yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, exactly. And okay. I would mention that you know we're going Cairo, and it's like we were inspired by the uh, the Carla, and, okay. and 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 do it that way, and that way we'd say we can want to follow up on following what they were Aubrey Penhue's footsteps, even. Make me a, gosh. What would emotional intelligence be? <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, uh, um, make me not a... fast talk, but uh, <laughs> intimidate. Make me a psychology Ooh, I don't Psycho think Psycho Make me a psychology role. Psychology? Yeah. Charm. No. All right. So... I only have a 10. Uh, well, so even there, here what I'll, here's what I'll give you is, you know, all right, so what... Uh, actually, that role will determine the tone of the letter. Because uh, essentially what yes. you're doing is you're, you're writing saying, sorry about the death of Sir Aubrey Penhu. We wish to invent, you know, we wish to follow in his footsteps. footsteps. And, you know, there are possibly ways to do that in a... Uh, Deeply inspired. They were heroes. Yes, those would that be, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Those kind of things, yes. Uh, um, so. so with that role, maybe you're a, a tad... Uh, uh, American? 
Is there, <laughs> that, that is one way so to put I, it, yes. I, you know, I am the Jersey Devil, so... Um, and yeah. is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> I mean, fast talk is so not going to apply to paper terribly you have, well. You have... Um, I'll let you also make a psych... I'll, offer me a role about your sort of... Your, your, you know, your whole thing is bureaucracy it and would paperwork be, and... And, and I, I mean, don't I, want to tell someone to go screw themselves politely in a written letter. I mean, I I might be able Tech. to roll some sort of... Timidity. I mean, I, I don't know if law or library use would be good for just making it easy to digest and straightforward and not like... I'd totally but, accept that. I'd totally accept either of those. I'd say library. Let's accept library use. Okay. And just make it a little... Uh, oh, yes, exactly. All right, yeah, so you you rough out, you know, you, <laughs> you take the draft and you make it a little <laughs> less uh, brusque. It's a little more palatable now. Uh, I, I, I was I was being educational. I was being, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, but a man did die. Uh, it happens. It does. Uh, it does. I take back all the good things I said about the Hefner. <laughs> That's usually a good sign for us. That is a thousand bits to inspiration oh. to the players. Thank you. Ah, uh, my man. I, I don't have one. Um, Come on. You, you don't have one. I have a couple. Oh, good. They don't need it. Yes, we do. You uh, better use it too. I want to I, see. I, I know. It. I better. Mean, mm -hmm. uh, I win. That's just. What <laughs> I'm uh, okay. So yeah, you can totally do that. So uh, it sounds like we've got a good bunch of questions for the uh, Penhu Foundation. Yes. And you you sent the letter. Uh, so one of the weird things about London, even in 1920, was there are three mail deliveries a day. So, so cool. you know, you send, mm -hmm. you send, uh, people would routinely send letters and then say, I will follow up, you know, with that, an invitation. In, in this case, that seems kind of silly to, because we can just actually hand deliver it. Well, the point of this, but, but I think, want, is the letter's the there, they get the letter, and they're like, exactly. oh, yes, you sent a letter. Right. Uh, okay, and now let's, so yeah. questions for the newspaper. So the notes that, that, that I have say that the, the reason that we were pointed at the scoop is because um, Jackson Elias had a series of articles that didn't seem to be connected. Things that, that he thought were connected, yes. right? Yeah. So let's track down all his articles and see if we can put, follow his footsteps, see what he was following. Do we have those, those papers? Was that something that was given to us by the publisher or should we go and ask for, uh, the I scoop person for them? Oh, wait, no, you didn't meet Jonah Kensington this time. That's right. So, no. No, you don't. Oh, well. So, we can go and we can ask him what articles Jackson Elias was looking at and see if there's any parallels to what happened in New York. You that guys we were too busy see. fleeing New York. Mm. To, uh, I mean, I have, I, have, I have notes about, about what all of it was, but um, yeah. with, with, with Donald already giving me sideways looks about <laughs> things that have happened before, I don't think I want to pull yeah. those out. <laughs> You can share. Wait, in two <laughs> days from now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say we're not following up on paintings. There will be Good. no spoilers about the multiverse. <laughs> we are not following through on, on, a, on a kid who paints. Let's just it's say a great that. story. Understood. I don't care if it's a good story. Lovely lady. There was a lot of blood. <laughs> yeah, but it was mostly Thomas's blood. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us aren't going to steal a knitting needle and try to put it through our leg. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> that, I don't know if we're ever going to beat that. I moment. don't that think is. so. That was amazing. The Depends one, on what I have to get out of, right? <laughs> yes. The ones, the, the ones that, that I have are a story on a cult in the heart of London, uh, the murders that are attached to the Egyptian murders. All right. Well, let's uh, do it. We yeah. got it. Let's go. And yeah. then the lesser Edale stuff. Yeah. All and right. and uh, Miles Shipley with the, with the paintings. Mm -hmm. Yep. Skip that one. Uh, all right. I mean, we probably could have been okay if we'd done more research before we went and realized just how bad it was going to be and been prepared for it, but we were not. So, visiting the scoop. Mm -hmm. uh, right. It is a, um, a small but uh, robust publishing outfit, uh, and you are, uh, you go during the day, so uh, you are quickly shown in to the cloud of cigar smoke that is Mickey Mahoney. <laughs> oh, Mickey Mahoney. Uh, he is, uh, you know, he's the Irish J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, so he's, he's, he's much happier than J. Jonah. Um, and uh, what, is your, what is your intro? How do you approach him? I'll let you take the lead on this. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we are associates of, of Jackson Elias, and we're following up on some of his things. It was a terrible story to hear about the loss of Jackson Elias. He was a, he was a fine man. 
Yes, a, a dear friend. Hell of a writer. Yes, he certainly was. Hell of a writer. Very, uh... Oh, well, how do you... So, so how do you know Jackson, then? Did you, did you go on some of his adventures? That we did. He's good friends of ours. We were mentioned, actually, in his will. And as part of Jackson's uh, last will and his wishes was that we help investigate some of his final stories. We're trying to put some pieces together that he was working on before he died. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever I can do to help the memory of Jackson Elias, I'm, I'm here for. How, how can I help? So we were we were uh, we were curious about the sorts of things that you would have helped provide information for and to him about. Um, what sorts of articles was he interested in? What did he What did he look at while he was here? We didn't have a chance to chase down some of his papers before we left New York. Well, he was very interested in the Egyptian murders. Mm -hmm. He uh, he he looked at a couple stories about that, and I think he spoke to uh, Barrington. Oh, and Inspector Barrington. The copper. Yeah. Oh, you know Inspector Barrington? No of. Ah, well, then you know that he's got a baton stuck right up there. He's He does indeed. He's a copper's copper, that man. Mm. Um, Incorruptible. It's true. It's true. Don't trust anyone you can't corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Did Jackson ever say why he was looking into these murders? No, he was, he's just, I mean, he's generally interested in Egyptian bits and such. Uh, but he, uh, you know, he mentioned that uh, there was something about, uh, he went to the Penhu Foundation. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what he was chasing down at the Penhu Foundation by chance? He's reading over our heads. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I don't, I don't, I mean... It would have been Egyptian stuff, I'm sure. Did Jackson ever write any paper, any uh, articles for you? He did mm. some spot work. Yeah, he did some spot work. Could we take a look at some of Jackson's articles? Uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, he'll show you. So um, mm -hmm. it's it's articles. Uh, these are all kind of older. They're mm -hmm. in the, the early 20s. Mm -hmm. um, were they before or after Peru? They were after Peru. Okay. Uh, and they're stories of, you know, um, Mahoney will admit that he punched them up a little. Oh. Um, but they're stories about uh, the early Egyptian murders. There's a couple in there. Uh, and uh, there's a story about, um, about a person who... Uh, said that they were uh, uh, attacked by the fog. Jackson wrote this. Yeah, he did, yeah. It's a great story. I mean, mm -hmm. killer fog? That'll sell some papers. Where, what, so did, does it say where this happened? Uh, it was down by the docks. Killer fog. How does he describe the fog in this paper? I mean, it's, it, the, it's fog. Was it like black pudding? Like darkness, faces was, coming out? It, no, it was... Oh. It was there were no fa no no faces that he mentioned. Just just fog. fog. Just just a good old. But it, it like started to choke him and all this stuff. Just ah, uh, just and just like a good old pea suit, but actually mm -hmm. taking form. That's right. That's right. Interesting. Hmm. Which was the last article Jackson did? Uh, the one about the fog. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he he left for uh, he left for Cairo and then for Shanghai. Uh, and I'd asked him to send me any stories that he got along the way, but uh, the one telegram that I got from him was, uh, uh, he was not in a good way, old Jackson, towards the end. Do you still have that? Yes. I don't. Yeah. But I'll tell you that it was just the ravings of someone who was losing grasps of reality. Where, where did he send the telegraph from? Shanghai. From Shanghai. What did he say? I'm embarrassed to admit this. He believed, well, he said in the telegram that he had found a member of the Carlisle Foundation in Shanghai. That sounds like a great story. Carlisle Expedition. Right. The missing expedition. They were all supposedly killed in, in Africa. Yeah, but it's, it's, I mean, look, I can spin almost any story to sell, to sell newspapers. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take the name of... Sir Aubrey Penhugh or any of that lot and drag it through the muck. We've got, uh, we've got some rather strict libel laws mm. here in the UK. All right. 
Um, Who did he say he found? Who did he say? He didn't say, he just said a member of the, oh, the Carlisle expedition. Um, speaking of the Carlisle expedition, do do you? I mean, given 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 the sorts of things that that you the stories that you find interesting, um, was there any information about a woman named Benet who was attached to the Carlisle expedition? Benet. Hey. No, I. Is, is, that, a, a, is that a lady's name? An African lady's name. Oh. Well, <laughs> insert horribly racist. <laughs> <laughs> he says there. Oh. But no information on no. the lady in question? All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Can we see the, the last article on the Egyptian murders that you have? Sure, yeah. Um, so he pulls out um, Daphne! Daphne! Be a love and bring me all the, Jack the three things that Jackson was looking at, would you? And so uh, uh, she brings three newspaper articles. Mm -hmm. um, one is about uh, <laughs> one that <laughs> that Alexander won't even let you look at is about a painter. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, His name is Miles Shipley. He paints really crazy stuff. We're not going there. All right. <laughs> Fine. That all checks out. And yeah, <laughs> she's just like, nope. Uh, the second one is that story about um, some sort of killer beast in Lesser Edale. Uh, Lesser it is a, um, it is, a, a Lesser Edale is in the Derby Valley, so it's mm -hmm. uh, northeast of London. The Derby. And uh, the story is about a, uh, uh, some sort of beast was that has been, uh, uh, tormenting this town was shot by the constable and uh, and there were two uh, two citizens of the town were killed uh, and uh, the description is this lurid sort of uh, description of some sort of beast some sort of humanoid beast uh, and then the third one was uh, that story about the unidentified foreigner floating in the Thames hmm. who had been beaten severely and then stabbed through the heart. The last Egyptian murder. Egyptian murders. Right. Now, you two seem like you've got a nose for uh, the macabre. That's a good word. I suppose. And so I'm going to tell you right now that uh, I've got 50 pounds for us, any stories you bring to the scoop. Huh. That's an interesting offer. Mm. We'll, see, we'll see what we can what we can. Well, bend, I, I what hope we can so. Bend and again, if, uh, if there's any way I can help, please do let me know. Of course. Uh, Jackson was a good friend of mine. Well, thank you for your time. All right, and so now we come to the Pinhew Foundation. Um, this is a very different uh, approach. The Pinyu Foundation is a three-story marble building. Mm. Uh, it is a, uh, a, a, a very nice building. Uh, it is uh, well-appointed. It's in a good neighborhood. Mm. And you, uh, you essentially enter, you come up a stairway, uh, and you enter into a lobby. And uh, uh, sitting in the lobby, Tom, do you want to describe who is sitting at the desk in the lobby? Oh, good. Yeah, uh, he's a... Uh... Basically, uh, a thin Egyptian man, early 20s, uh, with very thin wire glasses that they have at the time. Mm -hmm. um, basically, just he's working on some last minute writing or he's scribbling in a journal. All right. Basically. Because so, he doesn't even see them come in. So, mechanically, we are introducing Tom's backup character, mm -hmm. who is an intern at the Penhu Foundation. Um, so, you are working the desk. Uh, basically, that means you sign people in. And if they want to go to a reading room, you put them in a reading room and tell somebody. That's pretty much everything you do. Easy. So. So did did we get an invite back? No, no, there was nothing that came back. Mm. Although, well, I mean, uh, who knows? Maybe that's a cultural thing. You know? <laughs> We're still gonna 
Oh, yeah. Am I eligible to join? Is it just that you throw money at them and they're like, yay? They will take money from anybody who wants to give them money. All right. So, yeah, you guys enter in the lobby. He's, oh, quality. he's the only person. Uh, there's a guard. There's a guard in the lobby who right. looks incredibly bored. Uh, and he's just sitting there writing in a journal. Okay. So, uh, hello, excuse us. Oh, oh, oh hi. Hello. Um, hey, um, are you, do you have an appointment? Um, actually, we wanted to try to become members um, of oh, the yeah. foundation. Oh, that's, that's, that's a great idea. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I think one of the, um, one of the, the partners, um, it's Saturday, so I don't know if he's here. Do you want to come back on Monday? No, no, no. I, w I, I would, I, I journeyed here, desperate to do some research. Where are you from? From, from, uh, from the good U.S. of A. <clears throat> oh, across the pond, huh? Yes, yes. Well, and, and you? Oh, same. New York. Are you guys together? <laughs> <laughs> do you both want to be members? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that means like, oh great, any, that'd uh, be great. Right. I, can, I can do something for you guys. Okay. Hey, um, right. If you want, um, if you could just sign this book. This is like our... our we have to sign in the book. Sign in the book, mm -hmm. please. Uh, you have to sign too. Okay. Hey, I'm, if you just stay right here and don't touch anything on my desk, <laughs> so I'm gonna be right back. You would know that uh, the person that you need, that you're gonna connect them with is Gavin Kennery. Oh, Dr. Kennery, okay. I'll, I'll, I will hustle over to Dr. Kennery's office okay. and, and rap a few times on the door. Yes. Uh, doctor, uh, before I bring you, I forgot your tea. I'm so sorry, I forgot your tea. But we have two potential new members here who want to pay membership fees and they want to see somebody from the foundation. They're in the lobby. Very well. I'll uh, get your tea, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Leave it on my desk. All right, I'm gonna hustle over and get the guy's tea. And then. I right, for, so forget about these two. I am I'm leaning looking, over and looking at totally, everything like, on the totally. desk. He's like, what is he, right, what does he so have to hide? <laughs> there totally, is a, totally. uh, uh, there's a journal that is written in Arabic, probably. Ah. Yeah. So if you want to make an Arabic roll. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and I'd like to make it. But, uh, you, you're going to get something. This is just a question of how much time it takes. It. All right. So you get a few things. Yes. Um, and uh, what you see is you get... Um, it's mainly about uh, uh, a number of references to the Valley of the Kings and new pyramids that are being found in the Valley of the Kings. Um, and, uh, I like that expression on you, Julie. <laughs> uh, make me a spot hidden roll. Actually, everybody, make me a spot oh hidden boy. roll. S2? Yes. Failed. Um, yeah. No. Nope. Did you get a hard success? Hard success. Down. Did you? That's a twelve, right? That's a twelve. Twelve is good. Yeah. Well, that means oh. you, get, you get the uh, inspiration. You oh. guys get Yay. it. <laughs> oh, I should have used inspiration. Yay! Uh, all right. So thank um, you, whoever gave that to us. It looks like, according to this, it was Lucifer and the Hefner again. Right on. Thank you, guys. Right on. Right on. Or Thomas is just putting up the same thing over and over. I can't. It's entirely that's possible. possible. <laughs> I mean, that's you know, we're just going to try and give you more inspiration because they Yee. need you. Uh, so you, um, with that role, uh, while she's leaning over and looking at the journal, mm -hmm. um, this desk uh, seems. There, this is a rotating desk. The person there's not never one person sitting here. Mm -hmm. um, but with that role, I will give you that you f you see. Um, you get to you you take a look at the the list of people who have gone into the reading rooms recently mm -hmm. and you see uh, let's see when did he I'll I'll give you when Jackson Elias was here let's see here I definitely have to flip through pages for that hmm. and he I do. was here <laughs> Doggone it Um, that date in the past, you say? <laughs> uh, he was here about two months ago. Okay. That was not long ago. Th oh, sorry, three months. I forgot a month has passed in the game. But still. Ah. <laughs> so three months ago, he was here. Which would be after he went to Shanghai. He came back to London? That sounds about right, right. as far as the timeline goes. 
That's interesting yeah. that he didn't check back in with Mickey Mahoney. Hmm. Hmm. He went, yeah, he went from London to Shanghai, and then it was sh from, sh well, actually, he probably stopped in London on the boat. Because uh, remember, the telegram that you got from him was from the, sh uh, the, the liner. Mm, the okay. initial telegram saying, meet me at the hotel, mm -hmm. was from the liner. So he was in London at that point. Yeah, he went, he went back to London, though. Interesting. Um, and, and that's what you get before uh, Mr. Kennery comes down. And uh, Kennery pulls out a large uh, folio and starts to flip through. And he, uh, uh, may I have your name? Of course. Dr. Joan Lamb. And Dr. Lamb, you wish to join the foundation? Yes. Mm -hmm. And your name, sir? Oh, Savano Costa. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, and you wish to join the foundation as well? Yes. Uh, if, would you like to become a sustaining member? Uh, for a, As a sustaining member, you will be invited to various events that we hold, lectures, um, hmm. ver uh, uh, various events here at the foundation, and also at the Egyptian Museum. I'll bring the tea. <laughs> Thank, uh, leave it on my desk. Uh, what's oh. your name? Sorry, I forgot. Yo it's Joseph. They just call him Joseph. Joseph, leave it on my desk. Of course, of course. Uh, as, a sustaining, <laughs> as a sustaining member, uh, you will also be eligible to um, access the library of the Penn Hugh Foundation. Oh, that, that sounds excellent. All right. Uh, make, both of you make me a credit rating roll. In there. Where is it? Under the oh. oh, oh, there it is. Okay. That's it. Okay. Good. He was already sniffing at you anyway. <laughs> ah, didn't make it. Well, it's it right. close. Want an inspiration that? We have it. Yeah. Inspiration yep. that. I mean, you know what? Just use this one from Hedonistic Neil, who. Oh, good. Sweet. Yeah. He, he right. knew you needed it. Thank and you. He put it through there. Sweet. So. Oh. Yeah. So that's a reroll. Yes. Yeah. Even worse. Even worse. Right, that She's is on not, the Amy board. That is an Amy. She's on the Amy it's board. Not it's not, no, it is not it's this seat. Yeah, it's that's this. right. No, no. To be real, though, that is a horrible dice box. Yeah. I won't yeah. use it. Actually, that's the one I've been using. So I hate that dice box. Mm -hmm. It's the it's seat. A, it's the part seat. of me wants to it's jump in on this. Pricey, but part of me just is like say. feels like it fits if I don't <laughs> make it. Uh, I think I think you should at least try. Why? You got plenty of Because you're selling the story. To who for what? Are they going to take our money or not? It, it, no, they're going to take your money, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, the the to sustaining membership what? is <laughs> more, it's it's just about more than you're comfortable paying. Yeah. That is the trick with the credit rating rule. Yes. Is that, you know, the sustaining membership is like you're underwriting stuff, you know. So it is a, there. it's a check with some zeros on it. Mm. But it does give me access to the Cairo. To the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Cairo, yes. yes. We're definitely not getting Somebody's two of the memberships. That. The sustaining is just <laughs> one of us. I'm already, I, I didn't need to make a roll to be deeply uncomfortable with that. <laughs> um, you could have so, just asked. So with that roll also, he will, you know, he, he, he asks if you wish to be sustaining members, and then he will <laughs> say, like, of course, if you are, wish to only be me. a regular member, then that is acceptable as well. You will still have access to the uh, library here at the Penhu Foundation. Now, I'm, I'm going to do it, because this guy is starting to condescend to me, and I don't <laughs> like it. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, right. That's, that's how he gets you. Don't you do that thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to spend money to make you like me. Female doctor. Female doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, Octavia did the same thing, too, or she would spend money to make people like her. Yeah. Uh, all right, so you throw down some cash, your credit rating goes down by five. Mm. Oof. Acceptable. Can do this. <laughs> Acceptable, says the person who is not erasing numbers. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's only money. <laughs> um, your credit, so, and you, and you write back. a large check to the Penn U Foundation, and uh, Mr. Kinnery is suddenly much more friendly to you. Can't imagine I why. know I'm gonna get this back because. Sorry. Because you're robbing the pin you found. <laughs> <laughs> Yosef will return to his desk. Okay, yes. Desk. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, let me, um, please, allow me to give you a tour of the facilities. Perfect. Uh, so, um, he will show you 
around the lovely Pen Yu Foundation. And uh, it is, uh, you're in this first floor reception area here. Mm -hmm. These are all reading rooms here and here where people can access. They go in, they ask for a book, they bring them the book. The book is controlled while it's there. Um, and uh, this is the office. This is the in to the office of the executive suite. Uh, this stairway comes up, and he will bring you up to this area, which is a museum. And he will uh, he will show you uh, around the museum and show you the stuff that's in the museum. Okay. Uh, make me whatever. Offer me a role for um, figuring out how authentic this stuff is. I'd accept ar archaeology. I'd accept yep. Egyptology. Yep, yep, whatever yep, you yep, want. Yep, yep, offer me a role. Um, archaeology. All right. Make me an archaeology role then. Yes. All right. Uh, this stuff is. Uh, it's the real deal, but it is uh, mundane to the extreme. Uh, there is nothing here that would fuel any sort of your flights of fancy. And I will mention that to him, saying, you know, I've, uh, you know, I've been a doctor, I've been doing this archaeology thing for a while now, and this is, this is what you show the plebes. What are you going to show me? Hmm. Well, as you must understand, uh, we are a small collection here, uh, and... Oh, I know you have things that you have hidden away. I know it. And what... Where are you a professor? I was a professor, Finger Lakes in New York. Um, and, uh, I note the past tense in that sentence. Oh, well, I've mostly have been doing a, a lot more work in the field. I see, I see. Tell me, Doctor, and I ask this in a way that perhaps might sound pejorative, but I assure you is entirely pejorative. <laughs> <laughs> Are you one of those mysticists? Mysticists? I mean, people who believe all the things that come out of reading about the Egyptian gods and such. I, I'm very interested in... He's going to make a psychology role. Yeah. I'm very interested in, in those things, but believing oh. it? No. No. I like reading about it, though. Oh. Here at the Penhu Foundation, we find such matters distasteful. Oh, well, yeah, of course, but they give us some other hints about how they thought, and that has been very inspirational. Hmm. So you well, don't have anything? I fear that your more fantastical uh, wants will not be met by our library here. There is, I am given to understand, more fantastical elements at the uh, British Museum in Cairo. They have a curator there who uh, is interested in such things. And Oh yes, and, and uh, can I can I get an invite to uh, talk to uh, them? Oh, I am certain that if you speak in a similar manner as you have spoken to me, you will not require an invitation to speak to that gentleman. And their name? His enthusiasm is utterly nauseating. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Well, you, 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 you laid out the cash, so... Mm-hmm. His name is... His name is Dr. Ali Kafur. And make me an archaeology ar role when you hear that name. Yes. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, Even Yeah, you've heard of him. His official title is Curator of the Occult at the British mu Museum. Sorry, the Egyptian Museum. Not the British Museum is in England. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The Egyptian Museum, Cairo. Great. Great. But again, and I cannot stress this enough. Discussing anything with that man is distasteful. I understand. I understand, and I appreciate your warning. Uh, he'll show you back to the lobby. So painfully British. Mm. He'll show you back to the lobby, and um, uh, he will, uh, <laughs> uh, in a in a in a non-questioning way, he will say, "If there's nothing else." <laughs> <laughs> Where do we go to check out a book? Yosef can help you with a reading room. Uh, yeah. It has been a pleasure to discuss with both of you. And he will, like, go back. Yeah. He didn't mean that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so thing. we've got the, a catalog over here on the table. Uh, you just tell me, and I can, I can arrange for the books. So, yeah, the way it works is you, in a reading room, say, we want to know about, you know, new pyramids in the Valley of the Kings or something. Yes. And then he'll go enough. to the librarian, and the librarian will we'll dig through that. stuff and bring We it. have that title of that awful book that Emma wanted us to look for, right? Yes, the al book. Mm -hmm. uh, I, think, I, I think have a feeling since he talked like that, they're not going to have it, but we could try. It's, a, it's that's in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Oh, that's in the Egyptian? Yeah. Oh, good. Yes. So that's All right, then we don't have to look for it. And someone who is curator of the occult will be able to point you us right at yeah. it. So, but, but yes, having, having some books about, yeah. we'll, we'll spend the rest of our time looking at those books about the new pyramids. I can see what there is well, there. Well, do we have any way, uh, <laughs> we've been trying to follow up on the Carlisle expedition, and we're specifically curious if you have any records about any material that they looked up while they were here uh, before yeah. they left. Doctor... Dr. Penyu went on that expedition. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. 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 He took a lot of stuff with him. Oh. I don't know if he ever came back to the, li to the foundation. I, I, oh. I can ask the librarian if you want. That would be great. Uh, sure. Thank okay. You. So is there anything specific you guys are looking for? Uh, just anything at all that, that you know that they looked at before going. I know a couple of books that the doctor asked me to check. Let me see if the librarian has a record. Okay. Um, just wait here and, and, and please, please leave my desk alone. Okay. Oh, now we should. Well, no, you're in the reading room. Room. You, oh, so room. you oh, okay. you essentially lock them, put them in, in a room. reading yes. room. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll be back. That's smart. <laughs> in like five hours. Yeah. Keep yourselves entertained. I'll wander over the library. Sure. Yeah. Her uh, name is uh, Edith Kingsbury. Is Edith young or old? Oh, we got tea. We got tea. Edith is ancient. Oh, okay. Edith, okay. She's like a grandmotherly. All right. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey, Edith. Um, we got a couple of new members for the for the foundation. Um, they are asking to look at books that doc the Dr. Penhew looked at before he went on that expe the expedition. Before he never. Yosef, you know as well as I do that Dr. Penhew took all of the materials relating to the expedition with him, and we've got nothing. Um, didn't he read something before he left and just didn't bring it? What part of he took all the materials related to the expedition with him? Did you not understand? Well, can we just check the ledger and see if maybe something I got back? Uh, you know? What a good idea! <laughs> I should check the ledger that I bleed and wrote! Okay. I, they're waiting, so just let me know if, if we got... No! There's nothing! Oh. Go away! I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Edith. Um, do we have any books from the Great Pyramids in the New Valley? The, 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 the New New Discoveries? All of the them. The Valley of the Kings? They're all about the Great Pyramids. In the Valley of the Kings. She, from last will, she comes back with a stack of about eight, like, massive tomes. Okay, uh, just those three. The other ones are crap. So let me get, okay, I'll check those three out. Okay. And I'll bring it back to these Americans. They should be happy with those books for, you know, all right. Americans? So, yeah, yeah, we got a couple of Americans from New York City. Uh, didn't know they could read. <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently. Yeah, well. What all right. is a doctor? So, <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Yeah. 
No, you don't knock. You We're locked in, in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come in. So, um, <laughs> Let us out. <laughs> out? Uh, so, um, restroom? <laughs> the Dr. Penu, uh, unfortunately, he took all the books with him, and then he never, he never came back. He, he's well, dead. Yes, naturally. You know, so he died with all the books. Wow. But I have three great books. I've been, I've read all these. These three are the best that have been written in the last twenty years. And if you're interested in the, on yes, the subject. Yes, please, please. I'd love to see so, something new. Yeah, here you go. I, I'll check these out. I'll add them to the ledger. Um, just knock so when you you're done. Not, yeah, you're not allowed to take these books. And I'll take the books back to the library, and then maybe we can find something else for you. How do we get a hold of you? Oh, you just just knock. It's really quiet. I'll, All right. I'll hear you. There's a bell. That works, too. Ding. The bell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lock them in. All right. All right. Go back to my desk. So, I guess yeah. I'm reading some books about pyramids. In the you night. sure are. <laughs> so what you read about um, is some relatively new, this is like 1910s, basically, uh, suggestions, let's see here, of um, new pyramids being found uh, down by Dashur. Uh and one is called the Red Pyramid. And uh, it, is, it seems to be of a different, uh, um, it, is, it is a different design. Hmm. Uh, it is more like the older pyramids. Uh, not the not the grand huge uh, Valley of the Kings, you know the the Great Pyramids. It is definitely one of the minor pyramids. Hmm. Uh, there's not a ton. It is all the books refer to ongoing and uh, 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 ongoing ex exi uh, uh, expeditions, ex examinations, and expeditions. Mm -hmm. um, so there's there's still you know this is this is developing mm. news. Okay. As of about 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. But again, these books are super dry and super non uh there's no sort of like, you know, uh an, you know, ancient astronauts built these pyramids or anything like that. Darn it. Stop watching the no, history channel. Chariots of the gods. No. Read it, people. <laughs> no, this is the this is the, the kind of thing I'm I'm used to seeing. So, That's right. Uh, yeah. Um, and and it's it's good not to have all the horrible stuff there. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is good. the red pyramid though. Hmm. So that's going to take up the rest yes. of your day. Uh, you two have an afternoon if you want to. My goodness, what do we do with the whole <laughs> afternoon? Uh, Is there see. any part of the story that we should be investigating? Which part of what story? I'm not really excited to talk to this copper. <laughs> <laughs> Nor am I. Other than that, let's see. Of the notes we've been given, this, the killer fog story is not something I'm interested in either. It's interesting, but if we haven't heard any more reports about it, maybe it was a one-time thing. Mm -hmm. While the, the murders... Maybe another cult, like what we've experienced in New York City. It's not another cult. It's the it's the black uh, it's the, it's the the Brotherhood of the Black Pharaoh. And how do you know this? Research. What research? Research that I have. I done. didn't imagine, did I? <laughs> it wasn't all some of my drinking. You've been here before. You've done this before. I've been to London. Yes, many times. I'm not That's not that. what I'm talking about. <laughs> you've lived you've lived all this before. You've made mistakes, and you somehow you can see the future. I can't see the future. I... You know that we're not supposed to go visit the painter. God, no. Why, <laughs> why, do, you, why do you know this? You're going to think I'm mad. Of course not. Yes, you really are. I, I think I'm mad. I'm going crazy. Fair enough. But in any case, you know what we're supposed to do. Uh, some of it. Tell me. Is it to ruin the future if I know? No, but it could be different. Different's okay. I w different is probably better. Different is way better. <laughs> the last time ended not well. <laughs> All right. So you know something about this cult that's killing the e Egyptians? I know. 
I know that the way that they are killing people is consistent with how the cult of the Black Pharaoh killed 100 years ago. They've been thought to be disbanded for 100 years, Ooh. but apparently they weren't. Something about a bloody tongue. I remember that. Yes, there. it's the, the five aspect. The five aspects means nothing. Um, you, you remember the uh, father of maggots? I'm trying, yes, yes, I remember. Yeah, that was part of it. Right, okay, but um, moving forward, what should we be doing? If we get involved with this, this cult that's killing people, where will be the next on their hit list? All right, here's the problem, Donald. Yes, all right, fine. I'll, I'll tell you this much. If you tell anyone else, I swear to God. I'll do my best. I'll try not to drink too much. <laughs> Keeping you away from the whiskey while we're here. <laughs> all right. Emma and I have lived this before. Right. Um... And it ended, as far as I know, I wasn't there with her, in a warehouse where something was broken and ended the world. That sounds bad. It was very bad. All right, so and then we're not doing that. <laughs> and um, we're not going to some painter's house. We're really not going to that painter's house. <laughs> and um, that are, are we not? <laughs> do we look into I'll the cult the and the murders? We really need Amy. <laughs> Or do we ignore the cult and the murders? I think that they are one of our best leads, honestly. Um, oh. I've gone to the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> this painter thing sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if I went to the newspaper, we would be leaving London. <laughs> <laughs> if if the cult is our best lead, they found one of who the can we talk to other than the cult? We're going to Shanghai. To learn more about them without getting their attention and getting them to try to kill us. Well, that's the trouble, isn't it? Because we kicked the hornet's nest in New York, just like Emma and I did before. Let's not do that. Yeah, well, we seem to have a habit of doing that. Um, the newspaper man we've talked to. Yes. I, I'm not keen to speak to this Scotland Yard fellow. <laughs> you and me both. Maybe we'll let the others speak to him? I mean... He can't, he, he can't treat Americans much worse than he treats us. Well, you're English. Yes, my accent isn't exactly English anymore. Oh, uh, I see. I sound American, sort of. Well, do we have any clues we could provide him, some reason he would help us? So you do know that Jackson Thank you. Elias went <laughs> and spoke to the inspector. And I recall that Inspector Barrington was very, like, dismissive. Well, yeah, he's not much for the hocus pocus stuff. Sure. Mm -hmm. Roll credits. <laughs> Is it possible we could act like we're investigating Jackson's death, uh, perhaps pretend that we're American um, coppers? <laughs> if we only had a badge or something we could use. <laughs> 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 Let me go find Dave's body. <laughs> or, Someone kept Or it, right? Emma kept a uh, badge. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you've got, I think you've yeah, got Emma a badge. Has a badge. Yes. Emma, Emma has, has a badge. A badge. Yeah. Would I know that? Would she have told me that? Oh, I'm sure. I feel like yeah. I, I Emma's like running around going, I've got a police badge! Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. She's still been drinking. <laughs> Emma did keep the badge of the copper we killed. I think... Uh, could Silvio pretend he was the copper? <laughs> what do you think? I need to watch that. <laughs> I, 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 I can't do it. Well, I mean, there's Irish cops in America. I can't. I can't. I can't pretend I'm a New York copper. I, I can't. I can't play that role. But You've Silvano. Been in New York a while. I think Silvano could do it. <laughs> I don't think Silvano will do it. You know him. He runs away from danger. <laughs> it's just, just to ask you questions. It's really <laughs> stupid decisions, too. <laughs> because this would be a stupid decision. This is the stupidest. Oh, the badge of the cop we killed? Can I flash it around? It's <laughs> perfect. Please. Gimme, oh. gimme, gimme. <laughs> Damn you for figuring that out. Oh. That would have been epic. Ah. Uh. 
Oh, maybe, <laughs> perhaps we could be uh, relatives or... Or just what we are, associates of Jackson Elias. Hmm. I mean, he'll, he'll, he'll give us the, the poo-poo face, but... Make me... Hmm. Let's call it an intelligence roll. <laughs> Both of us are just her. No, just her. Okay. okay. She's remembering something, possibly. Oh, good. Uh, 74, just made it. All right, so um, you remember that the interactions with Barrington, mm -hmm. like once you proved that you were useful and that you had, you know, you were trying to solve the Egyptian murders, like they became a little bit more... Uh, Friendly? Uh, yeah. All right. Um, like Barrington's a by-the-books guy, but he really wants to solve these murders. I think the Egyptian murders is our way in. Hmm. Because it's still an open case. When was the last one, the, the uh, mysterious foreigner who turned up in the Thames? Wait, when you say foreigner, do you mean Egyptians or any foreigner? Well, do we know what kind of foreigner it was that turned up in the Thames? No, that was a that that story did not uh, did not make it clear who it was. But the last one was. About four weeks ago. All right. So this is a currently open case, oh. and Scotland Yard hasn't been able to solve it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that's biting at Barrington's ass. Last murders for the four weeks. Mm -hmm. So, so if, who would be the best person to talk to this copper? That's the question. That is the question. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe you made a regular Emma. success on that intelligence roll. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's too bad Emma's sick. Yeah, it is too bad. Um, I could probably talk to him for one reason and one reason only. Mm -hmm. There's a very good drawing of you in a New York paper. and your That wasn't that good of a drawing. You're very average. That's why it wasn't that good. Right. It could be, it could be any <laughs> Irishman. They say and we, we all look the same. That? No, you don't. <laughs> well, to the, to the English, we all look the same. You're welcome. <laughs> no, I... Th <clears throat> I think... Mm, I mean, I, th I, I, I don't think that, that Barrington is someone that any of us should tackle alone. I right. think that it's something that most of us should go into. Well, let's, let's meet with the others, perhaps. Yeah. Let's see what they're up to. What hotel did you send the letter to the uh, Penhue Foundation from? The Pemberton? Pemberton. All right. What's your, and your backup hotel is? You haven't told us the backup hotel. Uh, Chelsea? Let's call it the, sure, the Chelsea. Good. I remember the Chelsea being written the Chelsea Arms. somewhere. Okay. The Chelsea Arms. It is not as nice a hotel. Uh, but it asks far fewer questions than the Pemberton. That's what we want a backup. Um, so when you return to the Pemberton, you have yes, a message. Please. Okay. You we have a letter be. from Edward Gavigan. Ah, good. Who uh, welcomes you as a sustaining member. He's so pleased to hear that you have supported the work of the Pinyu Foundation. And he would love to personally meet and discuss with you uh, um, the items that you are interested in. Perfect. We spent the whole day reading. <laughs> Squandered. All right, so that is, it is now the evening of the 31st. All right, so we're going to collect back together and have and have dinner together. Okay, and I brought the whiskey. <laughs> and you are not giving it to Donald. <laughs> I could use a little bit of lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, poor. Boyle. Oh, thank yeah. you, Boyle. A couple yeah. fingers. Yeah. Uh, and you, yeah, you share all the information that you all you've all gathered there. Okay, good, good, good. And yeah, uh, and you can make some plans for so tomorrow's Sunday. Uh, most things will be closed. Ooh, day right. off. Uh, <laughs> uh, the museums will be open. Yes, February first. Uh, the Penhue Foundation. Sure, it'll be open. Sure, what that. All right, so and Joseph's working on the weekends. I take it. Of course, yeah. he's an intern. He yeah. might be the only person there, like him and yeah. the guards. He probably works there twenty-four seven. Yeah, Aww. He, he, sleeps he has no he life. He sleeps under the, the desk there. I yeah. wouldn't know what that's Although, like. Mm -hmm. So, well, no, we'll we'll talk about that later. Mm. But he'll know a little bit about the foundation, the the building. Uh, yeah. So Sunday. Well, then, if if that's the case. Uh, 
Sun right. Sunday may not be the time to talk to, I'm sorry, what was his name? Who wanted to talk to you? All? Oh, Edward Gavigan. Yes. I'm sure he won't be in today. Well, not on Sundays. Right, you can did always... He say, did, he, did he give me a date or anything? He just said, I would like uh, to speak yeah, to you. Yeah, you know, he said, um, he, he said if you're free tomorrow for tea. Yes, there it is. Tea. Yes. There you go. So I am going to go get some tea. Is that on the, the calendar? Edward Gavigan? That'll, then, that'll be at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. Right, does anyone want to speak to this copper, Scotland Yard fella, Inspector James Barrington? Why? Well, oh, right. he knows about these Egyptian murders, and Jackson Elias was very interested in these Egyptian murders. Well, yeah, but then Jackson died. Well, not because of the Egyptian murders. Well, although in a manner very similar to the Egyptian <laughs> murders. I, I, so, I different mean, cult, but, though. Yeah. But is this, is this a particularly important, you know, the murders... Do we need to follow up on those? It could be very important, could yes. Be. So we It'd don't be good know. to know what we Jackson don't, we don't was know looking anything. into. That's the well, thing. Well, I mean, we're, we're looking into the, uh, this is great stuff over here. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the, and the, the Carlisle and you know, expedition, I mean, and we're going to have that when, tea. When, when, when the Carlisle expedition took with them everything that... Professor Penhue looked at, I think that's going to be not as much information as you're hoping. It's a hurdle. It's a rather large <laughs> hurdle. Uh, you so also long. know, I mean, you've got the Shanghai thing yes. as well. Yes. And yeah, got... see, that, that really, it sounds like Jackson did the work for us, and we just have to, like, right. if, if the, let, like, that's what we need to figure out is, uh, speaking yeah. of Speaking of what Jackson was interested hmm. in, though, he was very interested in the Egyptian murders. So and, and, work and, how, and how and how that might work into it. Thing. And, might but, work but, and, and a beast attack in Lower Eddington. Did he? But but he never stayed to finish those. So he, he must was, have prioritized other things over them. Is the Silvano, take away. I'm going to throw toast at you. Make uh, me a spot hidden roll. Oh God. Oh. Is just Alexandria. No, seventy. No. Ah. If you say it, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys are in the dining room at the yep. Pemberton? Okay, okay, go. Yes? Yes. Having a lovely dinner? <clears throat> well, it's breakfast, breakfast right? It's, it's Oh, okay, first. right. No. We're uh, having whiskey no. for breakfast? No, 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 awesome. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought we were having dinner after we all came oh, back that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. That's, that's right. right. Um, mm -hmm. Do we want to inspire that role, perhaps? I don't know. Is this funnier? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> that's not the real question here. We, Isn't we, it? We've, we've got could. plenty of inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Go for it. I don't know. For, um, for the person who's okay. like, yeah. let's look into these murders, maybe we should hold on to some of that inspiration. Uh, spot hidden, that is a regular success. All right, a regular success. You would swear that walking through the lobby of the hotel was a very familiar, short, dark woman. Like a lean look. Is it, is it Bells? It, you see Lady Jezebel. Oh, gods. And I, like, go pale. You okay? Um, fine. Fine. Is there something in the food, or? No, no, the food's excellent. Mm. So as she oh. says that, all of a sudden, Sta like standing at your table is a a shorter, darker, maybe East Indian, maybe Southeast Asian woman hmm. dressed in almost like stereotypical uh, a fortune teller outfit. Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, carrying like all, f at the table fanning out tarot cards. Interesting. And uh you look like you've seen a ghost. That's a good description, yes. Hello. I could let you talk to a ghost. I... Ten pounds. Ten pounds. Oh, this is a ghost-free zone. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's rather steep. Tell me, have you lost someone you care about? Hasn't everyone? Mm. Not if you don't care about anyone. <laughs> way of plain size character. <laughs> uh, I mean, I suppose that's true. Yes. Ten pounds. 
You can talk to someone. I will bring you the spirit of someone you care about that you have lost. That's all right. That's a little, little too rich Jackson for our blood, though. Uh, thank you for the offer, miss. Yes, all right. Yeah. And I, yeah. And I, and I hand her 10 pounds. Really? But Alexandra? not here. Not here. Where? We should go to your rooms. All right. Alexandria? Trust me. Oh, fine. All right, so all right. Long. <laughs> she waits to take, whose room are you going to? We'll go to mine, mine with the right. Alexandria's room. Right. Alexandria's room. I'm, 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 like, I'm, I sleep I'm, in my flat. I'm never in this room. <laughs> uh, all right, so. Yeah, I have um, to, I'm paying for two rooms that I don't sleep in because I'm in my flat. She, um, she rips one of the sheets off the bed and throws it over the table. Uh, and she pricks her thumb and she draws a circle hmm. on the on the on the on the uh, the sheet. Oh, Something bloody. wicked this way. Blood comes. magic. <laughs> well, we haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> uh, and then <laughs> she will uh, she will start to lay out tarot cards. Uh, and she she lays them out, and. Um, who, who do you wish to speak to? All right. I'm eating left. Jackson alive. That'd be the slow turn. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, what was your name? I am Lady Fortuna. Lady Fortuna. <laughs> I would be interested to see who wants to talk to me. Oh. Very well. And... Her jaw distends. Oh, God. And coming out of her jaw is some sort of white worm. I'm out. <laughs> uh, everybody makes sanity rolls. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on, I've seen this before. You wanted to know who wanted to say hello to you? It's Francois. <laughs> Thanks, Francois. Oh. Critical success. Hard success. If you made the sanity roll. Nope. Okay. Yes. <laughs> if you made the sanity roll, you lose one. Got it. If you did not make it, here it goes, and this is when you leave. Uh, you lose three. All right. I made it. Uh, and and you all see her jaw distend, and it looks like one of the worms that you saw in Peru. Not like and it's gone. And as I, soon I, as, I take a step back. Yeah, as soon as like. Uh, um, you made the sand roll, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, so you take a controlled stand back. You are freaking out. You're the door slam. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... And it's gone. And she's just there, smiling. I, the, I, what the uh, hell is that? It's never what? a good idea to give everyone in the spirit world an invitation. You always want to be specific. It's a good idea when I want to know which nest I've kicked. Alexandra, Whoa. perhaps we should narrow this a bit to Jackson Elias. Sure. Wow. All right. Ask if Jackson Elias wants to come talk to us. <sighs> she sits like that for like five minutes. Yeah. Jackson, we have cheesecake. <laughs> as soon as you say, Jackson, we have cheesecake. The summoning, it happened. Uh, uh, she starts, and then, uh, do any of you speak Spanish? I do not. Oh, do no, not. I'm All Italian. Right. Mm. She says, Si un hombre no se levanta el sombrero ante te, si es seguramente un delfín. And she says it like in rapid fire. Okay. And then her face goes black. Like, oh, no. Stone black. Like pharaoh black. And then it's gone. Oh. Oh, you bastard. Ask, ask her a question. And then she, like, starts, and she just starts collecting her t cards. What did the cards say? <laughs> they tell a story, don't they? When you lay them out like You're that. You're all gonna die. Probably. I wasn't in the room, so I'm exempt. 
<laughs> eventually, eventually, but not right now. Probably. Can you be a little bit more specific? Oh. You're going to Shanghai, and you're all gonna die. That means we live until Shanghai. <laughs> Who, we just never have to go to Shanghai. Shanghai. Who mm -hmm. should we look for in Shanghai? Uh, make me a power roll. Okay. Uh, 78. Didn't make it. Okay. Uh, only you see this. Okay. Uh, for a second, uh, Bells is replaced by a visage of a horrible, um, not human, massive woman mm. Mm -hmm. with, you know, this stringy, greasy hair, but dressed in a, uh, what seems like a really nice dress. Mm -hmm. Is it like the the women? Uh, 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 Oriental Chinese sort of look? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cult of the bloated woman. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, and then she like like she's collected her cards, and she's like leaving. I don't think we got your money's worth. You'd be surprised. She didn't tell us anything from the spirit world. Th that was just weird. I think I drank too much. I don't think I drank enough. <laughs> I agree with that. Be well, Bells. And I, and I, and I, and I, and I walk out of my own room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, well, uh, you know, Francois has bar. some fans. <laughs> Francois hanging out in the other room. Francois has some fans. <laughs> oh, uh, Lord. Chief among them, the Hefner, who's making me do math. <laughs> I think 5,000 bits is 10 inspiration? 10. Yeah. Right? It's ridiculous. Wow. Thank you, Hef. Ridiculous. <laughs> no, nice. I don't get any of them. Uh, We're rerolling everything. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so you walk out of your room. Here's. It's rain. It's raining. <laughs> it's rain and bits. Hope you choke on. It. <laughs> Hallelujah! It's um, rain and bits. You're both so <laughs> you you. I'm gonna you need these for the drinking that I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm 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 actually just like stepping out and going into the stairwell and just like sitting there for a minute, just trying to breathe. I, I'm gonna go okay. out after her. Okay. All right. Wow. Both of you make spot hidden rolls. They can see me drinking from there. <laughs> Are you? A, did you just go to your room? I made it. Or I went to a bar. Okay. I'm going back to the bar. All right. Well, it's. Uh, made it. So yeah. you both made it? Nope. Oh, okay. So the first thing you notice is that Lady Jezebel is nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. The second thing you notice is some uh, very. Uh, you have gained a healthy appreciation for uh, <laughs> uh, reading uh, 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 people's. Um, uh, levels of violence, and there are three very angry-looking Eastern European men mm -hmm. who are kind of—they've uh, gotten off the elevator, and they're sort of like they're walk they they are very slowly walking down the hall, very circumspectly looking at room numbers. I'm gonna like tuck into a corner and and pull out a knife and just watch them. Okay, they stop at her room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of them, like, very lightly taps on the door. You So you so, both see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm following her because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, have I'm you I'm stepped the into the hallway? Huh? Have you stepped into the hallway? No, okay. I'm, I I I was in the stairwell. Yeah, I'll give of, you, you yeah. both can, like, yeah, look. Yeah, but okay. if you step yeah, in yeah. the hallway, we're going to need to make some rolls. Okay. Uh, I just got from the Terminator. <laughs> he's back. Uh, I just got 500 bits. He always comes. And then back. apparently the Hefner, my my pitiful oh. whining, Aww. got me not four more that. inspiration. Wow. Wow. Hefner, you glorious bastard. Hef, oh. what the fuck? <laughs> That's okay. Thank That's you, friend. We really appreciate great it. Great timing with those, those thugs showing. Yeah, up. I know. Yeah. 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 You can really yeah. put that to good use. That's my hope. Uh, 
France and Francois thanks you too. The half, uh, Make sure to bring him back in after the break. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Uh, so yeah, they are. They lightly rap on your door. No, I'm just, I'm just going to sit back and watch and like put a hand on, on her shoulder yeah, to yeah, keep yeah, her back. Yeah, 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 because yeah, I'm ready. Uh, and just then they're, they're clearly listening at your door. And then um, they say something quietly to each other uh, in a language that um, I'm pretty sure neither of you speak. I speak Italian. Yeah, no. Uh, and then one of them just leans into your door and crunch, pops the door open, and they have gone into your room. And I grab her oh. shoulder and hold yeah, her you know, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm re uh, actually, two of them go in the room. One of them is, like, standing in the doorway, just like... Oh, man. There's two of them. There's three of them. There's more of them than there are of us. <laughs> you could take them. I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> Wish I had my crowbar. <laughs> you left it in the other room. Yeah, right? I know. Oh, I know. Uh, I left it in my room. Oh. So yeah, what are you doing? Anything? Are you just waiting for them to leave? No. Oh, go downstairs and tell. We can, we can imply that I was headed to the bar <laughs> on my way out. If you... uh, there's a bar in the hotel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because prohibition hasn't touched England. Yep. Okay. How, how far are we? How, how many? How many flights? Yeah, we're on the flight. sixth floor. Oh, sixth floor. Okay. Because we need to get. Do you have anything in your room that's incriminating? It's me. <laughs> that doesn't answer my question. <sighs> Answered it for me. <laughs> uh, did you have any of the books from New York? York. Yeah, because yep. we're bringing them with us. And we don't want them to know what... No. No. So... All right. Let's... Let's, let's get these guys. All right, here's the big thing. He's watching for us, and there's the one out here. It's gonna be really hard to get up to him without him seeing us and alerting those two. And guns are a, are a bit noisy. A lot noisy. Guns are a bit noisy. A bit noisy, please don't. That might be the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah, true. Please don't shoot it past my ear. I like my hearing. Oh, I, I, <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gun free. Okay. I'm a professor I'm, who doesn't shoot into melee. Good to nope, know. Nope, 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 nope. All the callbacks this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I well, think this is not a bad time to take a quick break. I think this is good, a good yeah. place to take a break. Great, great, great. Uh, so. And he's on top of scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the control center. Uh, so uh, we're going to take as short a break as it takes for five people to use one restroom. <laughs> Uh, and we will be back in just a few minutes.
The real question is, are you team Mystic or are you team Valor? That's the real question. I don't even know what that <laughs> means. My brother is so team Mystic. It's absurd. The, the weird things people talk about that I just smile and nod. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, it's breaking the action. Yes, Let's so back to what happens? Uh, we're back. Thanks right. so much again. Uh, Hef, just for you, There's Francois, Francois. Has, uh, has made an appearance. Um, there's talk of a beret yes. being added. <laughs> oh. Maybe a monocle. <laughs> no, I think I like the beret. Like the beret? Yeah. The beret. Yeah. The beret would be so perfect. It would, yeah. it would class everything. That would, so the best costume I saw all Halloween, this, mm -hmm. this young woman comes up, and she's wearing a shirt with a piece of bread on it, and she's wearing a beret. And I couldn't piece it together. She goes, I'm French toast. <laughs> she got extra candy. Yeah, that was a great concert. That's a good one. That's, That's great amazing. Uh, so yeah, when uh, we came back, f when we were at, went to break, there are two thugs in your room mm -hmm. and one thug standing in the hallway. So how far is her room from mine? Uh, three doors. Okay. So we came down the hall and passed my room. Yeah. So this is a hallway okay. of about. 20 rooms, 10 on each side. Mm -hmm. You are in the stairway. Yes. In the middle, about, uh, actually, at the other end of the hall, there's an elevator. There's a lift. Okay. We're in England. It's a lift. It's, 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 it's a lift. Well done. Okay. All right. I think the most important thing right now is to distract that guy so, yes. we, so we can get the drop on him. Exactly. And then we can get the other guys out. Yeah. All right. What do we got to huck? Inspiration. <laughs> no, a lot of Start throwing inspiration. A in. lot of it. Uh -huh. Literally and figuratively. Um, I don't have much of anything in my pockets besides my... <laughs> I don't have anything to throw, she said, Oops. holding several knives. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not throwing my <laughs> knives. I need those. All right. <laughs> I, got, I got a money pouch. It's got my... Uh, and throw it up and then he'll... It's a coin purse. Yeah. <laughs> A money pack. We're too used to D&D. &D. Yeah. And a potion. <laughs> my water skin. And for some reason, a 10-foot pole. <laughs> that which was, no one my... could walk with, <laughs> but everyone has. Is it not collapsible? It's going to poke. Poke. It's like, it's like a, it's for a, making a tent. You it's like, like the Minbari staff from Babylon 5. <laughs> <laughs> what? There you go. <laughs> I'm all right, I have my coin purse that I'm going to throw. You've stated that several times tonight <laughs> in various ways. I'm going to huck it at this guy. <laughs> do it. <sighs> all right, Go what do it. I have to drive for hucking? There's a throw. It's a throw. There's literally a throw well, There it is. There it is. is. But she said huck. So. I Looking mean, under huck. Yeah. she's American. You have to excuse her. That's it, man. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need inspiration? Uh, yeah. Or? Wait, wait, what'd you What'd you roll? roll? Oh wait a minute! Is that ninety? If it's a, if it's a fumble, you that's, can't inspiration. Yeah, that's a ninety-six. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I swear that, it's this chair. It's, it's this chair. It's the box. It's this chair. I'm so chair. glad it was you and not me. Because yes. <laughs> last episode I had two hundred. Yes, it's, it's this chair, right, madam. It's, it's so it's not the box. It's not the you box. It's make the, box. the best throw you've ever made in your life. It is outstanding. You hit this guy flush in the face with your coin purse. Yeah. Uh, Damn. <laughs> I love he turns you and you're doing like a fist pump. <laughs> uh, however, your balance is a little thrown off from the throw. Make me a dex roll. I, 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 I. <laughs> it didn't make it. Did How badly did Could you not inspire? make it? Yeah, I'm in favor. All right, Go for it. Paul and Amy. It's under the coaster. It's under the coaster. <laughs> Good job, yeah. man. <laughs> uh, it's this chair. It's this chair. Come on, 90 something. Is that a six or a nine? <laughs> That's the question. Did you get an Amy? I think it's a 91. <laughs> she got an Amy. <laughs> no, no, it's a 61. It's a 61. Oh, good. It's 60. Okay. Yeah, there's a nine right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, what's your dex? <sighs> it's 65. All right, so you made the roll. You made it. So, you throw. And you realize that there's a banister right at your back. Yeah. And there is a horrible moment where you teeter on the precipice. Okay. And then you, like, slide forward uh, and don't plummet <sighs> six stories. <laughs> to your death. <laughs> six there stories. There overhang to bounce off Certainly of Certainly to your machine. detriment. True. Yeah. True. Uh, <laughs> Certainly to your detriment. I like that. Uh, and um, the... The guy says something in some language, uh, 
louder than he has been saying stuff, clearly alerting the two yeah, that are there. Uh, and we're going to go to initiatives. I say throw on the banjo music and do a chase scene. We can turn this into a. Uh, but come on, it's got to be yakety sax. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's just dexes. So 90, 80, 70. 75. PCs always go first. Fantastic. I'm going to like shake my head, draw, draw two knives, and, and, and go up at this guy. So you're moving into the corridor. Yep. Okay. okay. I fight in the hall. Uh, <laughs> So, um, if you close the distance, so you, yeah, you won't get an attack this round. Okay. But you're gonna, you, you, you can, you will close the distance to him. So you are now at her door, mm -hmm. like looking up at. I'm actually gonna hang back just a little bit to make him come to sure. me a little. Sure. Um, so I'm gonna okay, put one door for down. That, I will give him disadvantage. Okay. On his attack roll. Cool. Uh, for that. Um, speaking of his attack roll, he comes forward with just a fist. Okay. So he has disadvantage. Let's bring a fist to a knife fight. <laughs> I've got a lot of inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Pull an Amy. Is it All right, so this is a you should make a dodge roll. Okay. I, I I highly recommend. Dodge is half of my decks. Didn't make it. Okay. I'd like to inspire that if I may. Go for it. Do it. He, he it. did, so it. It, yeah. turnabout's fair play. Turnabout is fair play. Mm -hmm. No, no, when I do it, it's innovative. Ooh, you no, I pulled an Amy. Is it a fumble? No, no but it's All worse. Right. That's not an Amy. All right. Okay. Um, it is an Amy if it's worse than what you originally rolled. Ah, that Amy okay. Okay. Yeah, that <laughs> is the point, the, point of yeah, the, the, But then there is a, a turbo Amy, oh, okay. <laughs> which is when you fumble the second one. Yeah. Okay. Um, no one's touching Amy. No, I haven't no, done no, that I yet. Oh. Yeah, you did once. Mm -hmm. Amy's got two of those. <sighs> wow. And you only, you're the only other one that has one. Dang. Uh, okay. All right, so you take three points of damage from this meaty, meaty fist, and you should make a con roll. God. Ooh, he, I don't it. like con rolls. They don't go well for me. I made it, holy shit. All right. By so one yeah. point. So one point I made that. Cracks. con, so you get that back. <laughs> <laughs> he cracks you in the jaw. And there's a brief swimming vision, mm -hmm. but you are, you know, you shake your head mm. and you're out of it. Um, you hear the other two are not leaving the room. Okay. Uh, so your initiative. All right. I'm, I'm actually going to try to run past them and get to the door and, like, try to, to get... Your room? To your room? No, to, the, to, to my room. They're down in the bar. Oh, to her room? Yeah. Oh, because she's there. No, no, they're down in the bar. We're down in the bar, oh. yes. Oh, 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 I was thinking there's still people left in the other room. That's what I was thinking. You could just start knocking on every door. Yes. I mean, there's also a phone in in her room. Oh. Call the bar? Wow, that goes to the Hello, lobby. Can you connect me to the bar? They don't want attention. Draw attention. Yes. I need a pound on there. IP freely. Yep. I'm pounding on everything, and I'm just going to start yelling. You can just start knocking on doors? Yep. It start yelling, and help, 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 help. All right. That works. That. And I have, like, a bloody nose, so. Yes. Yes. Okay. They, the guy that you can see, like, clearly is annoyed by that. Uh, all right, we're back. Uh, you go first. I like, mm, all right. And I'm going to come back at him again. All right, you're going to stab, stab him. him. Yep. Stab him. Okay. Just get this ready. That's <laughs> I, unnecessary. Oh, I, like that. I got a critical success. All right, that is yes. max damage. Yes. So with stilettos, that is one. Uh, uh, that hold is on, wait. I, I want to make sure this is right. Uh, it might actually be double damage. Ooh. One of them's double damage, one of them is max damage. I mean, it makes, this is double damage. Okay, so, so that would be 10 points of damage. Ow, okay. <laughs> um, I, I like get in there, twist right it, and yank it back it. out. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, 10 points of damage, how do you drop this guy? What is the stab? What is the? Um, I'm I'm going up under the rib cage. All right, yeah. And I'm yeah. short enough that I can just like up, yeah. twist it, and pull it back out. Sure, there mm -hmm. is a, um, there is a, a Disconcerting rattling noise from this raspy breath. Have you ever seen a man die? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> not not like this near, no. All right, make me a sand roll. Yeah. Fifty-five. Right? Did you make yeah. it? Yeah. You you seem fine with this. <laughs> um, yeah, you. This guy 
Uh, you got a critical success. Your your knife just slides in and slides right out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the 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 awful noise of someone breathing out of their armpit uh, <laughs> for about a second before he just drops and blood starts pooling is starting to fall everywhere. Um, so you're talking to the constable tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Tonight, let's get a maybe. boat to Cairo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, I, and, 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 and I like look into the room and shout, "Get out!" Uh, all right, they're gonna bum rush you. Uh, they you take. Um, make me a spot <laughs> yeah, right. Hit, make me a spot hidden roll when you look in the room. Say that. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Unless anyone wants to inspire that, it's fine. Nobody's coming around and banging on doors and stuff. Oh no, no, no one is opening their door, Damn. especially after they they it just heard someone yeah. go. Ah! All right. No, there is. There yeah, is I, mean, a, does, I mean, does anyone want to inspire that spot hidden roll? Because I'd kind of like to. Yeah, you got it, right? Go for it. Spin right. it. Do it. Spin it. Nope, it was worse. Ah. Not a fumble, though. I saw him get hopeful. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling all of the Amy's tonight. So yeah, they are both. So I'm going to give them advantage. They are just trying to tackle you. Okay. Uh, so make me a strength roll. This is an opposed strength roll. Forty-three. Uh, is that a hard success? That is not a success. I have. I'm not. I'm not strong. I'm dexterous. Well, there you go. All right. <laughs> so they sort of one of them just picks you up. And slams you down, mm-hmm. oh. uh, and they are just t- you. You see that the two of them are just like tackling her. All right, I'm gonna get in. Go there. get him. All right, I'm gonna get in there. Do I'm not fire into melee. <laughs> <laughs> I got unarmed in melee. I'm, I'm, I'm All there. right. So are you punching? What are you doing? Oh, I'm punching. All right, punch a guy. I'm punching. I, I don't see you anything I can pick up. You in. have advantage. Yeah, I will give you advantage on this because they are both focused on tackling the person with the knives. All right. So what did you want me to? You're gonna roll unarmed. So unarmed. am I like so knocked to the ground or okay? Uh, and make me a dex roll to hold on to your knives. No. Yeah. Well, b- with advantage, remember. So you got an extra tens die. I rolled a forty-seven out of seventy-five. So yeah, you did not like, drop your knives. At tens, as in the what, yeah. yes. yes. Okay, roll. just want to make sure. Oh. That's a good roll. Oh. That's a very good Damn. roll. Damn. Did you roll an 01? 01. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So they are oh. not even paying attention to you. You just. Cold that cock, game. one of yes. us. Uh, uh, yes. Like you just come up behind him and you punch down on his jaw, and <laughs> whew, he collapses. Like he just goes, he just goes down right away. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm. And That's how you fight in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're back to you. You are the go- um, gosh. Is, is the one on top you of you the one that knocked out? So you get to choose. Did the guy was the guy you knocked out the one that tackled her? Yes. Or the one? Okay, so he'll fall on you. Ow. <laughs> There's a large you, uh, Eastern European yeah. man. I'm gonna squirm out a from a distinct him. stench of cigarettes <laughs> and slivovitz. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, as, as if we didn't know you've just been to Germany. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna like squirm out from from under him. Okay. Um, uh, I will. So you, I would give you a slash at the second guy with mm-hmm. disadvantage. I'll take that. Do okay. it. Do it. Do it. All right. So that is a sixty-five just over. Okay. So you. Uh, is there any way that we could use inspiration to cancel out the disadvantage? Because that would be a fifteen and very good. No, if you do the re-roll, you'll re-roll it all, the whole thing. Mm. I think Joan wants to spend it. <laughs> I don't know. This seems, this seems like one of the worst places to spend inspiration is on a disadvantage roll. Though. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's, and yeah. You're gonna... You've got like 47 inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hef. I lose my die in my seat. Um... All right, so you, you know, it's tough. You're coming out from under this other guy, and you just, it's more like stay away from me slash yeah. than it go. is there you go. Uh, there you go. A, an attack slash. Uh, and he will... Um, Assess his decisions in life? Yeah. Missed by one. If I was inclined I to spend luck, that's where yeah. I would do it. Yeah. Uh, he is going to take off running. 
Oh, good. But yeah. before uh, before he does, he uh, attacks of opportunity. He says, oh. "You." <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said it so he can give you the dirty look. We don't use those words here. <laughs> uh, um, he uh, he says in very accented English, um, Zara sends her regards. Okay. And then he's gone. He's running down the stairs. I'm going to take off after him. Okay. As soon as it's my turn. Okay. Um... What are, uh, so they're gonna do a chase. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna phone down, down and say there, there's guys. All right, you run into your room. Yeah. Okay. And um, what what are you telling the hotel lobby? I'm telling them there was <coughs> a fight in the corridor, and there's two guys, and they're uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, clearly they attacked each other. One yeah. slashed the other, and the other one knocked yeah. them out. Obviously. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> So you, uh, you, this is going to be a chase with uh, you and him. So I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to call this opposed dex rolls. Okay. Hmm. He has a regular success. Uh, I have a regular success. Just All right. Above so hard. nothing changes there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say we have five rolls. Okay. To. Uh, uh, to decide how to establish who gets there. So okay. we have four more rolls. Oh, that is a critical success. I failed. All right. So he like just leaps over the banister, mm -hmm. and he's now gained a, a basically a floor on you. Okay. No. No. Do you want right. to do it? Ooh. Is it to the bar at all? It's a hard success. Mm -hmm. When it gets to be my turn. Okay. Uh, that's well, I don't think they're doing turns. Right. I think each success. of these so, is a yeah. turn. Yeah. Things stay as they are. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's just a regular success. That's it. I'm going to have to get my friends in the bar. Please, please. Uh That is a hard success. All right. You catch up a little, so now he's a half ahead of you. Okay. And we One more roll. notify us, though? Yeah, you'll be, yep. you'll be getting called. Okay. This is happening very quickly. Yes. That's a regular mm -hmm. success. Uh, that's a regular success for me. All right. So he busts through the door about a half a floor ahead of you. Mm -hmm. uh, so he will be out the door, you know, through the lobby. Oh. Oh, that fellow's in quite a hurry. And I'm, I'm going to come through after him. Okay. Uh, make me a luck roll. Uh. No. That's not lucky at all. <laughs> That's... That's a 98, sir. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, you guys, um, you don't notice, you know, oh. there's a little bit of hubbub in the lobby. But what you do here is... Crash! Bang! Smash! And you turn around and you see Alexandra like tackle a waiter who was carrying like <laughs> what the twenty five banana cream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, apparently we need to get that waiter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, That's was, what I'm. He was carrying like two trays of drinks, and just they all go flying and crashing and bashing, and the guy is out the door. Uh, thanks to your distraction, <laughs> and you take a point of damage. Oh, Man, but really, it's your it's your ego. It's my ego. Takes the main <laughs> <laughs> now, like, to, 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 like, 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 very, very quickly, put my knives sure, away yeah, so, as quickly yeah. as I can. <laughs> you didn't stab the waiter, luckily. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like, lean against a wall. Fuck. Uh, I'll ask Alexandra, yeah. what, what the I'll hell is that about? So, you guys come over to me? Yeah. He had what? our drinks. We have problems. <laughs> we what? have problems. Is, is, is this when somebody comes over to tell them? Right. Oh. No, that, yeah, in the bar, you hear, uh, you hear, uh, um, is there a, uh, uh, no, I know that reason Silvio. 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 Oh, that's for you. That's, that's, that's Joan. Go tell her. I, go tell her you found me. Oh. All right, you go back in the bar and yeah. Oh, no, I'm I'm drunk. I just shout, "Tell Joan I found her!" <laughs> um, he he says he found her. Great, thank you. Sure. Oh no, is why were you chasing that fellow? <clears throat> okay, and they oh. were in Joan's room. There were three of them. Well, I can't lock the room. We need to go upstairs. We need to go upstairs now. All right, the let's waiters. Go. I swear to God, I will punch so, you. So you're leaving the dead body. 
We're, we're, we're coming upstairs. Right, she's, I'll, 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 I'll go I'll, with you upstairs. Yeah. Okay. I'm coming down because I want to. Uh, <laughs> so you guys meet at about the third floor. In, in yeah. the stairs. Yeah. 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 All right. Right. Jones. Upstairs. We yeah. need to deal okay. with this. All right. I told them. I told them there was a fight outside my door. Well, that works. Yes. Okay. <sighs> they were looking for something in Jones' room. There were three of them, and they said. Uh, Z Zahara? Zara. 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 Zara sends her regards. What does that mean to you, Joan? What does that have to do with the gypsy? What? The horrible gypsy. I will punch you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That, that's the a good thing. question, though. I have no idea what happened, if, if, if she get, told them where our room was or whatever, but uh, no, I know these guys. I know this name. Guys. You know this name. Why, do, why are they looking at Joan's room? First one they could find? I don't know. She flashed right, is there is, is one of them still here? <clears throat> both of them? Well, one of them's, one of them's dead. The other isn't dead? The other's unconscious. So, so funny story, talk to him. when you make it up to the sixth <clears throat> floor, both the bodies are gone. However, it is a very clear blood trail <laughs> yeah. into uh, the servant's area. Let's go. Into the, Let's go. All right, and it leads to the servant's elevator, which is going down. It has just reached the bottom floor. Damn. Um, well, he can't go fast with it if he's dragging a body. Let's, let's uh, everybody go. make me a spot hidden roll. <laughs> should, should I be a success. disadvantage? Success. 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 If you wish to give yourself disadvantage. It's a hard success. success. A hard success? Yeah, All right, with well, a hard success. I have a hard success. Uh, ooh, Unless oh. you want me here. You know no, what? No, let's no, make no. this fair. No. I'm pretty. No. Okay, fine. fine. Uh, so you, you notice it because it's funnier. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um, you notice that... Uh, as, so they're following this trail of blood, mm -hmm. and as you turn the corner, the hallway corner, uh, there's a there's a business card, with a with a bloody uh, the, like with, that's got a little blood on it. Okay. And it's a business card for Empire Spices. Empire Spices. Is there a phone number, address? Spice shops everywhere. Uh, yes, there's an address. My first thought is to wipe the blood off on myself, so I, <laughs> stand it, so I can read the card. <laughs> Oh, you know black. what? You're drunk. Tell yeah. me. So yeah, yeah. Your yeah. pants like, are black. Like, uh, okay. Oh, no. uh, yes, it is. Um, Savannah, so you got you got a little. It is a oh, lot of blood. Oh no. It's an address in Soho, not terribly far from where you are. Empire. Is it close to the warehouse? That's a problem for tomorrow. <laughs> you don't know where the warehouse is. No, I just know there's a warehouse in Soho. It's true. <laughs> it's true. No, I know who this person is. <clears throat> Damn it. Tell me it has nothing to do with the Egyptian murders. I could, but I'd be lying. Do it anyways. <laughs> but do we lose track? We can still follow fa the blood trail? I mean, that's six feet, it's six floors down. Well, this looks like a dead lead then. They'll be out the door. <laughs> oh, oh. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> You're in the ruckus chair. You, you can jump for shit like that. The, like, the, like, the, well, this <laughs> looks like <laughs> yeah. a dead lead. <laughs> I was just trying to get out of this. <laughs> are there are there any are there like servant stairs anywhere nearby? Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's yeah. Let's climb the stairs. Am I trying to go? Let's go down yeah. the stairs. All right. You start running down the stairs. Should I change? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, are you all going down the stairs? We're, we'll go down the stairs. I'll yeah. follow. No, uh, are you staying? Uh, wait, my room is still open. It's go true. close the door. It, well, no. I mean, but if I close it, it's still they busted They're, it open. Do I wait for somebody to come up and uh, I think I got stuff? You know, okay, I, I gotta, gotta I gotta mind. change Joe. my shirt. So you want to put the books in my room? Yeah, yeah. I have my yeah. I got my yeah. key out yeah. for right. my room. So you yeah. two, yeah. Joan, yeah. stay and 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 handle the police yeah. Yeah. or whoever's coming yeah. up because you saw this. Yes. You can make a good story yes. about what happened. Oh, totally, okay. totally great story. Totally. Totally. Well, forensic evidence trial. and everything. There right. There's plenty of blood. Yep. All right, so we're going down the servant stairs. All right, you will head downstairs. The servant's elevator is lying open, and there is a side door out of the hotel uh, that is but that is wide open uh, go, to the night air. We we'll go around. outside. Okay. Um, I'm like looking around to see if anyone's nearby. It. Do, I mean, there's. So this is an alley, mm -hmm. and then it gets out to a busy street, mm -hmm. and um, you do not see. Does a blood trail like stop there? Well, now it's dark. Mm. Now you're outside, and the alley is not well lit. Yeah, we don't have a flashlight or anything. A torch. It's a right. torch, yeah. True, true. <laughs> I, like, kick the wall in frustration. Yeah. They probably had an auto waiting out here. <sighs> probably. 
Son of a bitch. So all three got away? All right, so... No. You... Well, the bodies of all three got away. Mm. Uh, so you One are of them is very changing your dead. shirt. <laughs> yep. Good and job. you go back to your room. Yes, Jack. Uh, the books are gone. So any any books you had from New York are now gone. We're going to a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Do not tempt me, sir. <laughs> Do over. <laughs> Are you confident that you'll remain? And this time... Yeah. All right. So do we all meet up again then at some point here? Eventually. Well, I mean, uh, we keep repeating universes, right? <laughs> there's got to be more fallout from this. Uh, yes. And so, yeah, shortly, uh, a uh, the hotel detective uh, is there. Um, uh, Sydney Overhill. Uh, uh, ma'am, uh... What, what, uh, what has happened here, ma'am? Well, I, you know, I, I, I was in my room, and all of a sudden, there's this big bang, and these guys tumble in, and they're fighting, and... Hotel guests, were they? I, I, I don't know. Had you seen them before? No, no, they were just these guys, and... So people you don't know? No! They were just these guys, and they were, and one guy had a knife, and they were fighting, and I'm just like, I'm staying here. I called downstairs to, to tell, you know, see if my friends could come up and help and see what was going on, and... And you your can, friends talk, were... Talk to, talk, to the, talk, to the, talk to the downstairs. They they know I called. Of course, that's why I'm Yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that is a prodigious amount of blood, ma'am. And, um... What, were they only punching each other? No, no, one of them had a knife. A knife. Yes. So he stabbed and then one of the other ones. And then, then dragged him off. You can see the blood. See where much where it goes. So there were two gentlemen. Yeah. And they were fighting in the hallway. Yeah. And one of them, they broke through your door. Yeah, and then that's how I could see them. And uh, the one guy stabbed the other guy and then just dragged him away. I mean, that was basically what my, happened. I'm like, leaning outside my door, just like... Uh, excuse me, sir. Huh? Did you hear anything? No, I was I was drinking down at the bar at the time. Ah, right. Um, and, ma'am... Yes? If you don't mind my saying so, your room seems rather unkempt. <laughs> I haven't had any time to clean up. They... Can, God, you gotta do something. That this is terrible, man. You know, I heard that uh, that uh, you know Britain was a an upstanding place, and dang. So you tore the drawers out of your dresser. I was looking for something to 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 get these guys to go away. And I, there's nothing here. I see. Well, um, first of all, allow me to apologize on behalf of the Pemberton Hotel for this uh, uh, utterly unfortunate incident. I assure you, this sort of thing does not happen routinely here. No, I appreciate that. I I was gonna crash off my list. Um, And I assure you that um, we will get you another room. Thank you. And uh, are you, is, in your haste to not clean your room, was anything missing? I, 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 I'll I'll have to take a look. I'll have to take a look. I see, I see. But these two gentlemen were not trying to get anything from your room. I I don't know. I don't know. It it, it all happens so fast. Of course. I can't believe that you're still talking Uh, to me. I'm I'm terribly sorry for your uh, uh, for this awful situation. Mm. We You're a monster! <laughs> and I slammed my door. <laughs> I helped. Cheers, sir. Um. Alright. Um. Well, I mean, I wouldn't go with that. <laughs> um. Somebody is now cleaning. Like trying oh. to clean up the caking blood on the uh, 
So you guys come up and you see um, a, like breathing hard because we've been climbing stairs yeah. all day. <laughs> um, you see a a a uh, a guy in a off the rack suit kind of uh, uh, talking in standing in the cracked doorway mm. of uh, Professor Lamb. Detective. Mm. Mm. So let's go hide out in my room until they're done with her. Right. Uh, do you not want the detective to notice you? I do not want him to notice me. No. All right. Both of you make me a stealth roll. Oh, God. All right. Okay. Oh, zero eight is a good roll. Didn't 64. Success. Okay. Check that box. Um, yeah. Go ahead. So, do you, you want to go ahead on that one? Yeah, I think so. Please. Uh, still didn't make it. All right. Uh, so, um, yeah, so you, um, you, <laughs> like, with your 08. I mean, I mean you can like, grab me and drag me back if you, you want. With your 08, like, your door closes, and you're at your door, and he, like, goes, um, excuse me, ma'am. Mm? Can I help you? Yes. Did you hear anything happen in this hallway? I just came up from downstairs. I see. Which is the absolute goddamn truth. <laughs> um, Man, this guy's Poirot. Uh, <laughs> no! I don't want Poirot! Go away! <laughs> are, are you, um, is it raining? No, I don't think so. Ma'am, you're, you're, um, you're rather wet. Oh. Interesting. Yes. Uh, what were you doing downstairs? I was downstairs. Why? Why is that any? Is there something happened? Yes. Um, he'll gesture <laughs> at the pool of blood. Oh my God! Uh, a man has died in this hotel today. Oh. <laughs> well, I presume it's a man. I've been told it's a man. I mean, fair enough. Um, I'm terribly sorry to hear that. Oh, that's right. I get covered in drinks. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> You're, you're drunk. Can cl- there's like out. probably there's glass in your hand. <laughs> I did have rather an accident with the waiter downstairs. It's embarrassing, and I'd like to get cleaned up after it. I see. I wasn't uh, watching where I was going, and I tripped, and we went down together. Course. And I would like to go get. Well, cleaned this up, is please. the floor for this hotel, isn't it? Uh, yes, I'm sure. Uh, uh, thank you, ma'am. Please. Cheers. Uh, and they will. In my room, um, close the door. They God move damn you it. up to like a suite. <laughs> Party and Jones. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, he will somewhat snidely uh, tell you not to worry about cleaning the room. The maid, they, they'll they'll have a maid take care of it. Oh, thank you. Um, and and ask you not to remove the drawers in this room. <laughs> there are far more. It's a suite. Please do not. <laughs> do uh, not remove my drawers <laughs> in the suite. <laughs> The double meaning in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Um, yes, all right, Benedict. <laughs> uh, you on this floor, you don't even make to, need to make a listen roll. He's knocking on every door mm-hmm. on this floor, asking people questions. Oh, in that case, I'll, I'll get changed into bed clothes, mm-hmm. tussle up a bit. Yeah. You know, turn the lights on. Yeah, up. he'll knock on your door. Take my time, turn the light on, wander over there. Hello, sir. I'm so. Uh, Mr. Uh, he gives the fake name you checked in under. Right, right. Um, uh, I'm so sorry to bother you. Uh, did you hear any ruckus in this hallway? Yeah, some some argument. Um, kind of, it woke me up from my sleep. I, I went back to bed. Some people arguing in the hallway. That's all I remember. I see. I see. Well, um, and that's all you heard. Um, banging or yell? I I, sorry. I. It was a disturbance. I was asleep. I, I went of back course, to bed. Of course. Well, thank you, sir. Right, right. Uh, so, yeah, you'll hear, like, he keeps mm-hmm. knocking on doors. He doesn't go knock on your door. Yeah, I mean, he saw which room I went into. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and I assume he assumes that I'm, like, half-dressed, getting changed after He'll all He'll knock that. on your door. Oh, yeah, I'll just open up. When I see who he is, I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> you should be ashamed. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon, sir. Making that woman cry... Well, it's, it's, I'm certain she's seen, had a great deal of trauma. Good night. Uh, I'd like to add, he puts his foot in your door. 
I, kind of, I'm drunk, so I'm just right, kind of yeah, like yeah. pushing it. Like, kind of he's definitely <laughs> noticing. Uh, if you don't something's mind, wrong uh, with my door. Um, so, <laughs> yes, sir, did my you hear anything in, in this hallway? I heard you knock. Earlier. He can probably smell in my breath. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. close. <laughs> yeah. Earlier, there was a. Uh, uh, yeah, you. There was a commotion in the hallway here. He motions at the. Uh, now, like slowly getting bleached. Uh, <laughs> I'll never, I'll never. What's wrong with this door? <laughs> My foot yeah. is in your door. <laughs> I wish you could give yourself quote of the game because that's a good one. <laughs> you are rude. Um, I do beg your pardon, sir, but there has been a murder in this hotel today. What? And that is why I'm asking if you heard any commotion in this hallway. Have you been in your room most of the evening? I was drinking at the bar. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> you. There's got to be a deception check in here. <laughs> why? <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't. <laughs> I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you were downstairs for the entire evening. So, so one of them was. I, I, I heard murdered? Yes. You've got a body? No. But I have a large pile of blood. Oh, that's probably murder. Yeah. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> yeah, that's probably He's a little murder. disquieted by that comment. Well, I mean, there's, yeah. Um, well, if you do hear anything, please let me know. I'm trying to. Um, oh, I'll close probably up. call. On the phone, if someone tries to murder me. <laughs> well, um, let us all fervently wish that does not happen. What uh, an excellent liar this detective is. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, so, yeah, he'll keep checking with people. Um, I mean, they don't really have anything. Uh, the next day, the police will talk to everybody. God. Uh, I, I do bang even. on some doors, so maybe so you know. This I'll is all this is gonna eat up most of that Sunday. Yeah. Well, we already have. Don't we already have plans? I mean, not anymore. It's funny how a police investigation <laughs> really throws a wrench into. Well, I'm just saying we can yeah. leave early. We had, we had. Yeah. However early we leave, the police will be here earlier. Yeah. No. We. But I we mean, did have you. Plans. Your room is being watched. So like, nobody, yeah. if you, you know, if you go to your room, there's, like, um, a member of the hotel staff is, like, standing there and asks you to please remain in your room. Uh, the police wish to, you know, they're, as part of their investigation, the police wish, wish to speak with yeah. you. Well, I had an appointment. You so three are not, don't have, you know, you three don't have... Oh, yeah. uh, uh, that problem. No. Well, okay. To worry. It's tea is at four, so hopefully I can get... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be there and I'll explain... <laughs> uh, I look okay. forward to it. Okay. Vaguely. Okay. I will okay. explain vaguely. We're not going to you be are no, Look, tea at four. Tea the at three four, was so. meat. Mm -hmm. How did they know where Joan's room was? Who are they? What were they looking for? Well, I can answer one of those questions. Oh, please do. Zara. Zara was... You found a thing that you wiped what? blood off of, off of onto your shirt. Oh, yeah, I think I still got the... Yeah, I pulled up the card. It's all crumpled. <laughs> Is this another spice shop? What yes. is crumpled in my pocket? What's with it, the like spice maybe, shops? It seems like it's the nexus for the Brotherhood of the Black Pharaoh. Or wait, play, places that people... They just del enjoy in. delicious food. We pretty much have to target all spice shops from here on out. <laughs> That's the code that I'm like deciphering spice from. Here's the, here's the big thing. Zara is, as I'm sure you've guessed, a spice dealer, but worked with Penyo. So connected to the Carlisle Expedition. This is why you keep notes, friends. <laughs> because I remember, I didn't remember this from last time, but fairness, I had it in my notes. Not only a spice house. Also a place of murder. <laughs> but that's where most of the red And other like African the the spice and things. For the murder. <laughs> <laughs> we so should recalendars. Wait, 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 we should what? make that. We should but make a shirt of that. Who is who's Zara? That would be awesome. The the spice dealer. I had never met her. I missed it. Where where did that come from? Sorry. The name. Where did that come from? When. The 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 what uh, the fight in the quarter. The guy the guy yelled yeah. Yes. Yeah, Zara sent her regards. But you know that name. Yes. How do you know that name? 
take a wild guess. Have you met Zara before? No. I've heard, just heard the name. And how are they Who told you that name? Us their regards? Shit, who did tell me that name? Oh, that was in another life. I... Yes, literally. It had to do with the Blue Pyramid Club, though. Oh, Barrington. Mm. A Blue Pyramid Club. Barrington uh, was saying that she had worked with the Pinyu Foundation a little bit, uh, and that um, they had been examining her as a person of interest in the Egyptian murders, but they couldn't they couldn't find anything. She was clean. Barrington, last time I talked to him. This is the copper that we don't want to speak to. Very much so. But you've already spoken to him. We've talked about this. <laughs> yes. Right. So perhaps if, if last time you spoke to him, it didn't go bad. Perhaps another <laughs> visit? Yeah, well, the last time Which I time? stayed... The last time I stayed in this hotel, it didn't go poorly either. And this time, my nose is broken. How do they know where the Joan was in this hotel? Did Joan use a fake name? We all used fake names. No, I, really, did Joan use a fake what? name when she checked in? <laughs> right, she did. did. I didn't? No. Did you? We, <laughs> come on. <laughs> we all use fake names. I mean, you and I did. We're kind That's of- That's a why would, no. God damn it. So, so you two can make But no one broke roles. into my room because I don't do things that get people <laughs> to break into my rooms. All right, that's success on that, success. 23. So there's also possibly Heart success. Letter. Okay. Oh. Oh, she did correspond with the, uh -huh. the and, Penyu Foundation. And There's Zara, some. And Zara's connected to the Penyu Foundation. Someone at the bloody Penyu Foundation. That damn intern. I'm sure it was. We should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, just just <laughs> violently interrogate. Let's keep things civil. Silvio, who who from the Penyu Foundation would would know? I mean, any. Who did she send? Anyone who would like we we did. Who I'm did assuming we did a general. To? She sent the letter, yeah, the letter went to the Penyu Foundation. Yeah. It was a letter of yes, introduction. Yes, but who responded? Yeah. No one. Uh, yeah, I someone responded. Yeah, it was letter. from Edward Gavigan. Yes. But wasn't that to the joining of? Yes. Well, that was acknowledging that okay. she was a sustaining, and that had become so a sustaining. The Gavigan, and I used my room. The Gavigan name. letter was mailed to this hotel. And to yeah. her. But her you, name, her right. real name. So I'd give you this, and you would definitely know this. Right. Like, if somebody gives that much money, the executive director is going to write a letter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so, just good stewardship. So yeah. at, at least the executive director knows probably whoever you lot talked to over there. Who did, who did you talk to? That intern. <laughs> well, well, whoever it was is a reason to be suspicious of Joan and Silvano. Mm -hmm. But they went after Joan. All right. Was anything said? I'm glad I didn't get that. Membership. Did you talk? Did, <laughs> did you talk about um, Jackson, the the uh, expedition? No, we kept no, we kept it, the expedition. Yes, we didn't talk about Jackson, did we? No. But also, you mentioned hmm. the Carlisle expedition in the yeah, letter. Yeah, we talked yes. about the Carlisle. Yeah, perhaps that was what set them off. Yeah, we're, that we're that we're interested in it. I mean, yeah. if, if if people are keeping an eye on the on the Carlisle expedition, and everything that happened with that, that makes sense. Especially since I know that Zara is connected to the Penhe Foundation and everything that happened. How was she connected? How was she connected? Do it. Do I remember what what Barrington said? Nope. Uh, Barrington was unclear. So mm. we could bait a trap she was pretty just easily then. Connected. Right, send a letter, another letter. Another letter no. from another person Wait, at another location. Mm. No. Because um, you haven't had yeah, a chance I to tell talk to him yet. We could pick a warehouse. Actually, you guys no. don't even know. And nothing could go wrong with that. You don't even know what room she's I'll in. murder now. you. Like, her room is empty <laughs> with, like, a little string across it. Oh, and on the string yeah. is a little paper that says, do not enter. God damn it. The power of the string. Well, we could always call the hotel lo lobby. They could connect us to Joan's room. I mean, you're assuming that they will uh, when she's part of an active murder investigation. Oh, they might. They probably won't. Because anyone, it's worth a shot. anyone who's calling for her, they're going to try to find out who's calling from where and why. Oh, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Have fun. All right. I'll, call, I'll, I'll dial the lobby. It has to be connected to uh, Joan Am's room. Uh... I'm sorry, uh, but Professor Lamb is uh, uh, currently not available. Then uh, perhaps leave a message for her. Um, we have lunch plans. Oh, uh, well, she's talking to the police right now. All right, uh, ask her if, um, just to ring my room, about what time for lunch or dinner, perhaps. 
Certainly, sir. Um, are you involved in this whole business? What business? Well, there was a murder. Bloody hell. She, she's alive, right? The professor is here? I, I mean, as far as I know, yes. She's not a suspect. I mean, I think she's a witness. Oh, she's a witness. That's fine. <laughs> I, 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 just, I, I don't. I don't think it is. I mean, she saw someone get killed. Ma'am, I was in the Great War. We've all seen people get killed. It's not that big a deal. I've never seen someone get killed. <laughs> just have, ever, ever call my room. All right. Thank you, love. Um, yeah. So you have a a very perfunctory interview mm. with a constable. Um, who is very apologetic. Oh, she's still um, at the hotel. Yeah. And uh, just asks you once again for your story, and you, yep. you say the same yep. thing. Um, and uh, he, uh, he asks, um, the only thing that's different this time is he, he's very interested in why they crashed through your door. Yeah, but I just, they were fighting, they crashed. Mm -hmm. uh, and they ask you for descriptions of the men. Do you describe the guys that were okay? Because uh, I, yeah, I saw them. They and were there were burned. only two. They were burned into my brain. Um, there were only two. I saw two guys fighting. Huh. Well, you see, that's that's curious because the front desk recalls three gentlemen asking about your room. Hmm. Our room specifically. And they told them. Oh, <clears throat> my goodness. Yes, it appears that uh, one of the night staff uh, took a bribe and gave those gentlemen your room information. We have that person in custody as a possible accessory, but we're not sure as an accessory to what. Do you have any idea why where the third gentleman was... And Some guys. why they would be targeting your room. You seem to think this was a coincidence. I do. And then one of them stabbed the other. The, I, that is what you said. That's yes. Let me correct. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's this is this is wow. Why would somebody I mean the the only people I've had contact with is the Penhu Foundation. Um uh, uh, I, I I came here to to uh, you know go through their 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 books and things. Um, I, I'm a scholar. I'm and uh, was there anything in your room these gentlemen might be looking for? Anything of value? I mean, I have I have my notebooks and my notes and things. Maybe they wanted to find out about the pyramids. I'll have to go see if there's any 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 pages missing. But no, they didn't even. No, they were fighting, and that's they, it. So the two no. gentlemen were fighting. Yes. And there was no third gentleman. Not that I saw. Could he have been hiding? Oh, he was waiting for me to come out. Oh, that's horrible. This is horrible. Hmm. Wow, I'm 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 glad that's over. I am so glad that's over. I'm, I'm glad I, I... We're going to have, uh, ma'am, we'll have, at least for the next few days, we'll have an, a, an, office, an officer in uniform in the lobby. Um, you can feel free at any time, if you need to, to call down to the front desk, and uh, the constable will be happy to help you with anything you require. I, um, I do have several appointments. I'm supposed to be meeting some friends here. It's... it's I would suggest that it makes sense for us to... Uh, these gentlemen were targeting you, ma'am. Unless you feel secure in the, the idea that whatever this is has ended, I would suggest you allow an officer to spend at least the next few days shadowing you. You're not there. I know. <laughs> Agree to it, it'll be funny. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to be going out with friends, and I'm going to be studying. Um, 
That would be so boring for them. Um, Ma'am, these men are clearly very dangerous. Clearly. And clearly. I, they must have just got my name randomly. Because there are that, way that strains they... credulity, ma'am. Well, there, there's no way they could have, you know, looked in the, and said, "Oh, wow, that's an interesting person," or something. In the, in the, could they be part of the, the hotel? Should I leave the hotel? <clears throat> ma'am, uh, I've seen police procedurals. <laughs> I've, I've seen, seen, seen police working through things with, with, uh... Um... rolled a 98. Yes! <laughs> I've, I've, i Ezra rolled a fumble! <laughs> I, I understand some of what police do in their work, and, and... So, for some reason, he's buying this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, well, perhaps leaving the hotel would be a, uh, a, a smart move, yes? I mean, if they're looking for you here... Yes. That that could that could make a lot of sense. Cool. All right. Well, I uh, I thank you, thank you so much for coming. And, and with that horrible role, you have successfully blustered him out of like having a policeman follow you. Excellent. <laughs> um, Fumbles happen to all of us, yeah. friend. That's why I shouldn't roll dice. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, you you know it's about noon by the time all of this is wrapped up. So you guys can meet for lunch. Good. I'll give you a call. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 imagine, I imagine we're holed up in my room or, or one of our rooms. Room well, service. Well, I do yeah. get, I do get the, the call that says that somebody was calling for me, so. Mm -hmm. well, Joan, you wrote the letter to the Pena Foundation. So they knew that you were staying in this hotel. Hold you're, up, you're hold down up. there now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, am I yeah. on the phone? Let's, all, let's wait till we're all yes, in the yes, yes, yeah, You're yes, all yes, in the yes, room. Thank you, all... thank you, thank you, thank you. So right. it, it must be related to that letter. I They're think it for is. You, look for you. They yeah. knew where the hotel you were staying in. They knew my room number. Joan, the, 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 the one who ran away, said Zara sends her regards. Yes. Zara is someone that I know of who is connected to the Penn Hugh Foundation. That may be where they got your name. Those bastards! We need to find someone over there. Is is um, set this up? Crooked. I have a uh, a meeting with uh, Edward Gavigan. There. Excellent. At for tea, at four. Do you want company? Yes, please. I think we can arrange that. Yes. So you're all going to go to the Pinu Foundation? Yes. I'm certain. Sure. I'm definitely going with her. I'm not letting her go alone this all time. Right. I brought I brought my friends and. Sure. <laughs> We're going to um, have a lovely tea time. Are you staying here at the Pemberton? No. We have You're a... going to go to the Chelsea? Yeah, the Chelsea. Sure the Chelsea. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he took care of the Chelsea, so you are all there under fake names. Sweet. <laughs> From now on, fake names. And fake names only. Mm -hmm. Got to come up with a fake name now. God. <laughs> I'm Irene Adler. Francois. If you all need a name. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so... Uh, we'll zoom ahead to the uh, Penu Foundation. So, uh, yeah, you show up, and that same intern is at the desk. Here we go. Oh, and so this is the next morning. This is the second. No, this is that, this is Sunday. 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 He's working, he's working Sundays. Did the fight happen on the thirty-first? Then the fight happened in the, the night, night of the thirtieth. Yeah. Thirty-first. No, oh, thirtieth. Yeah, night of the thirtieth. Uh, yeah, 30th was a Friday. Yosef is just scribbling in his journal. Sorry, not at 31st. This is Sunday. This is Sunday. Yeah, he's oh. he's working. Sunday. What, I, what I'm asking yeah. is, have I slept and do I get a point yeah, of healing you get back? A point, a point, you get a point back. Uh, it, is, it is, yeah, it is, it is 4 o'clock Sunday the 1st. I'm, I'm still, like, limping, so I'm not terribly happy, but I'm, yeah. I'm okay. Oh, oh. You should see the other guy. <laughs> oh, hey, the Americans are back. Hey, guys. Um, what can I do for you? I yeah. have a tea with uh, Mr. Gavigan today. Really, Mr. Gavigan? Yeah. Wow. Mr. Gavigan is... I, I never seen Mr. Gavigan. Well, actually, oh, he is oh. like one of the people who is always nice to you. He oh. always is like, yeah. you know, he asks after you and that sort of thing. Oh. He yeah, He's yeah. super, like, neurotically scheduled. So, like, you always... He comes in at the same time. He walks here. Um, yeah, you're you're very used to his schedule. Oh yeah, Mr. Gavigan, he's he's here in his office today. He's been here since exactly two thirty-five. <laughs> well, he did he did uh, request our presence, my presence. It's in his yeah. There is. Yes. I have you right here on the Great. agenda. Great. So um, if you would not mind just waiting here by my front desk, and please 
do not disturb any of my documents. I'll be right back. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. All right. So as soon as he's gone, yeah, I'll lean and like wait look at his stuff. Of sight. <laughs> do you speak Arabic? No. All right. It's an Arabic. It's an Arabic. We'll give it another go. Damn. All right. <laughs> Make your Arabic roll. You just want the skill check. <laughs> Did you fumble? I understand it perfectly. <laughs> Did you fumble? E98. Oh, I recognize <laughs> all of these characters. So you like set it on fire? So he's having an affair. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you like you like read it, and yes, he's having an affair. And you like straighten up to tell them that, and you knock over an ink, uh, an ink bottle. <gasps> and just the whole desk is just starting to like <laughs> drip with ink. Oh, Silvano. Uh, they, um, um, Mr. Gavigan, will, uh, you'll come in and he says, yes. Mr. G I've got uh, Mr. Gavigan, your appointment the, with tea for the, with the American wonderful, woman. Wonderful. She is Please. in the lobby. Uh, send them in. You're all in I'll, this with thanks me. For, <laughs> right. I'll go back to the lobby. All right, you come back to the lobby and there's an ink bottle. Like, there's what? Like, you, you see like dripping ink. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was a sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> These are my dissertation notes. Oh my! Oh, I'll, 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 I'll right, you go. Start blocking immediately, yeah, I try to grab some paper and right. move to clean things up. See what's damaged. I don't care about them. Yeah, yeah. I'll deal with he's, those notes. He's totally ignoring you right. guys. This I'll start cleaning up things up. Deal with, you know, look to the pages. I can read this a little okay. And you know, put this oh, over here. Students. It's oh. almost like he's doing it to make you feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> he probably is. Yeah. So oh, I'll, I'll clean this up for however long it takes. Yeah. There's like a ten minute interval. I believe we get some soda water. Soda water doesn't take ink out. It might. <laughs> <laughs> you want isopropyl alcohol for that. So is uh, Mr. Gavigan waiting for us? I'll get some us? alcohol then. Is Mr. Gavigan waiting for us, or are we waiting for him? Um, you're waiting. Uh, so I'll get, the, I'll, I'll get the alcohol. I'll get some clean towels. Yeah. Some paper. All right, it's now 20 minutes. Yes. And he's like... Every page, he's like flipping out. If you just want to tell us where he uh, he sits, I, we can just go back. He'll see you now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so he Poor leads bastard. you into a, a, a back office. Shh, don't say my name. <laughs> it, is, um, it is nice, but not like oh, sorry, crazy. Rubio. Uh, uh, everything is, is very well appropriated. There are uh, a number of uh, African curios, uh, uh, sorry, Egyptian curios. Egyptian. I was like, what? Uh, African? Yeah. <laughs> uh, a number of Egyptian curios and things like that around. Um, and uh, rising to meet you as you come in is the perfectly manicured form of Edward Gavigan. None of these pictures don't look menacing. <laughs> <laughs> is He's this, not going to eat my face at all. Is, <laughs> is the stuff in his office better? Does it look real? Does it look better? Does Make it, an archaeology yep, roll. Yep, 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 yep. I just make it. Uh, yes, yeah. This looks like, you know, again, it is not, there's nothing extravagant or supernatural or anything like that here. Okay. Um, he rises to meet you and he, uh, um, he like, uh, says, hmm, uh, what was the delay? Oh, your intern was having some problems with his paperwork. Mm. But, uh, He's all sorted. Well, please, uh, I'm Edward Gavigan, the executive director of the uh, Pinhu Foundation. It is a pleasure to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Hello. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Americans and their handshakes, mm. bracing. Mm. Uh, Whew, subtle insults, they're fun. <laughs> how, tell me, how can I be of assistance to you? I'm so... Uh, Moved by your generous donation to the Penhu Foundation. Oh, well, great, great! I wanted to uh, uh, make sure that uh, you kept your your area and space here. And uh, business before tea, Professor. Uh, in my line of work, tea is business. Mm, well, um, and there there is a little. Uh, there's a little bar in the room, uh, and 
he'll, uh, you know, at a certain point, tea will be served. They'll bring in tea or okay. something. Uh, well, one of the things that uh, I've been I've been wanting to go to Cairo and study some of the, the things that uh, artifacts and such that they have there. And I was wondering if uh, you might be able to help me get some contacts there. Well, there are a number of uh, mm, uh, learned men at the uh, Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Mm. Uh, of course, I would be happy to write a letter of introduction Great. for you. Mm. Great. Uh, but first, I, I, I would like to know a little about you. Sure. Uh, everybody make a spot hidden roll. Okay. Oh, Failed. Um, hard success. Anybody else make it? Yeah. Hard? Regular. Okay. So ever since you said the T before business thing, like, he will every once in a while just, like, look at you in a very curious way. Mm-hmm. And he'll actually stop and he'll say, mm, forgive me, mm. Do I know you? Uh, are you a follower of opera? Uh, I am. Uh, I do enjoy a bit of opera, yes. Mm. I was once in that circle. Alexandria Hartford? Of course. Miss mm. Hartford, it is a pleasure to meet a grand diva. <laughs> I, that life is behind me now, but it was... Marvelous. Mm. Hmm. Yes. Yes. So, um, of course I will send a letter of recommendation for you. Now, what, what is it that brings you to the Pinyu Foundation? Hmm. Well, there's, uh, uh, I thought maybe you, uh, <sighs> we've been been following a little bit about uh, Sir Aubrey and, and the, the unfortunate circumstances and um, kind of retrace, I wanted to retrace some of the steps and, 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 and see what he saw. And um, I thought that your uh, foundation would be a good place to start. Well, regrettably, all of Mr. Pinhew's personal papers and effects as well as the lion's share of the scholarship that he was working on hmm, were lost in the uh, unfortunate events uh, in Kenya. Oh, I was really hoping that you would have uh, uh, some things of his ar uh, around that we could that we could take a look at, um, but uh, I would I will uh, I will take the contacts and, and talk to Cairo. Um, so, I know that he was also looking into some mystical things. Now, I'm not a believer, but I thought it was very interesting, and I noticed that you don't have very much of that kind of information here, at least readily accessible, and I was wondering if there is anything like that here that you could uh, clue me into. No, I, I assure you we have nothing of that sort. Mm. Uh, Mr. Carlyle was a brash... Uh, very American gentleman. And he obtained information from um, an African woman uh, concerning a, uh, a, a little-known period in Egyptian history in which it was reputed that a... and I cannot say this word with enough disdain, a sorcerer of some sort ruled the Nile Valley. Uh, <clears throat> alas, the information was, as you might expect, a hoax. A hoax that Mr. Carlyle and unfortunately Sir Aubrey uh, both paid for with their lives. I find it odd that Sir Aubrey would even investigate such a hoax. Well, hmm. Sir Aubrey was a loyal and uh, dedicated friend to Mr. Carlyle. Hmm. Yeah. They had uh, 
significant correspondence between each other and a long and uh, complicated relationship. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, yes, well, I've I'm, I'm been very interested in all things, uh, all things Egyptian for a, a long time, and I hate to bring it up at this nice gathering, but I've been hearing about these murders. The, they're calling them the Egyptian murders? Have you guys heard anything about that here? Mm-hmm. Um, only what I have read in the newspapers. Mm. Uh, I see. Detestable, it's so unfortunate events. It's very, very sad. Sure. But you can see sometimes that the Egyptian uh, mythology and, and their, their thing, it, it takes that turn for the dark. You know, the rumors of, you know, expunged historical figures and... Uh, Rituals and the like. And black pharaohs. Mm. Yes. Well, there is... There is plenty of space in hmm, Egyptian mythology for one to have flights of fancy mm-hmm. of all sorts. Do I detect anything from him when I make any of those? Uh... You can make a psychology roll if you want. I'll try. I want in on that as well. Sure, yeah. Just because I know Oops. the letter went here and I yeah. don't know. Mm-hmm. Oops. Oops. Oof. Nope. Everything's fine. I'm not even trying. And my psychology Everything's is not fine. No, it's small, but I had he to He wants try. to eat my face. I just know that much. <laughs> um, if you... If you do wish to travel to Cairo, uh, my suggestion to you would oh, be yes. to find a reputable guide, not some African woman <laughs> who will steal all of your fun, all of the ex- expedition's funds. Yeah. And no. flee first chance she gets. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Would have to be a straight up uh, expedition. How much did Penu take with him on this expedition on some flight of fancy? <laughs> to be clear, the flight of fancy was entirely Roger Carlyle's. But Roger Carlyle was the gentleman who was influenced by that person. And Roger Carlyle was the funder of the expedition. Seems like Penny must have believed in the expedition. It seems curious Again, that he would have funded such a thing. Sir Aubrey, Roger Carlyle was a wealthy, wealthy man and required no hmm, assistance from the Penny Foundation. Mm. Um, he did, we did offer uh, uh, some maps. Mm. And some assistance in that regard, and it. Uh, Sir Aubrey was very interested in the potential discoveries. Yes. That could have come from this. Uh, unfortunately, none of us could have foreseen the terrible turn <laughs> that this took. I wonder. Do you still have? Do, do you know which maps they were most interested in, and would you still have copies of such things? Unfortunately, all the materials he took all of it. that mm. related to this were taken <sighs> by Sir Aubrey and were lost during his tragic incident in Kenya. Mm. Would that include the correspondence that he had with Mr. Carlyle? Hmm. Well, we do have... I mean, of uh, course, such a thing would be personal, but... Yes, there are private matters unrelated to the work of the expedition that are often mentioned. Uh, I'm sure you would agree that they are not something that should be shared. Of course. Mm. Well, that's, we really do want to uh, keep on going and, and, and in the spirit of, of, of what they were doing without you know, all the unfortunate business. Uh, that that uh, brought to them. Hmm. Well, you know, I can show you a few of the. Uh, they did come up with some very interesting finds in uh, test trenches, and that that Sir Aubrey sent back. Ah. Uh, there were some test trenches near Dashur, mm. 
uh, and also in the way, uh, uh, west of the Giza pyramids. Uh, most of the artifacts are at the British Museum, but we do have hmm, a few pieces upstairs that I would be happy to show you. Oh, hmm. It's about six o'clock now, yeah. and um, it's getting dark out. Actually, it's six o'clock on a, in February. Yeah. It's dark. It's dark. Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, and so, you know, if you're, he'll, he'll lead you up to that museum on the second floor. Let's have a look. I guess we'll go. Um, and he will begin to, uh, he will begin to show you endless rows of inscribed shards, oh, broken I remember pots, this. <laughs> just like whatever. And it's all, you know, everything he says is uh, noteworthy and no and 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 informed. Just trying but very hard to not make my eyes glaze over. <laughs> Incredibly boring, and make me an archaeology roll. No. We can inspire that. All right. Let's inspire that. Inspire that. Let's inspire yeah. that. Right. Yeah, Let's yeah. do it. I'm not using those dice anymore. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little further forward. Oh, yeah, that's better. Good. All right. So he's being, like, overly pedantic. This is, you know, this is a delay thing. This is just, like... And this noteworthy piece, and he tells you about, you know, why, where the nose of this thing went, you know. And now, then the next the thing over is the is nose. The stuff that I can just say, mm. yes, no, that I'm very familiar with this kind of, 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 of. Uh, yeah, you could, you could try yeah. big time in them. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to say, okay. you know, I'm very explain at him. Yes. <laughs> well, because he, I'm, I'm feeling that mansplaining coming on again, and that really, that, that tweaks me. Mm -hmm. That tweaks me. I gotcha. Um, so yes, that's that's one of the big things that tweaks me. Cause yeah, no, I know this. It's like I, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna say, oh, I, I appreciate you showing all these things. Hmm. I understand a lot of what you're saying. I've been through this. Um, I've seen it. Is there anything new? Anything special? Hmm. A thing that you can tell me? Apparently not. Apparently. Ooh. I'm happy to continue to show you the hmm, collection, or if I can offer any other assistance. Otherwise, it is getting a tad late. Hmm. It is late. We should mosey. Yes, let's mosey. I don't know what that means. Americans and their strange words. Hmm. Well, again, we so appreciate your support of the work of the Penn Hugh Foundation. Uh, and thank you all for coming. And if I can be of any assistance, please do not hesitate to contact me. If you could be of any assistance, I wouldn't hesitate. Ooh! <laughs> Very well. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll like... Uh, Say that after you get the letter of recommendation. <laughs> 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 uh, um, he will take his leave, and an intern will show you out. Oh, it's the Americans. <laughs> Don't let me in with Americans, for mm. God's sake. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's about 7 o'clock. The door's over here. Thanks for visiting the Peña Foundation. <laughs> we appreciate your, your donations. <laughs> yeah, thank you for your work. Our hours are 8.30 until 6.30 p.m., have you had any luck with your notes? A little. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not oh, thanks. All right. Uh, so what are you doing? I don't believe him. Uh, he, well, of course not. He's lying through his goddamn teeth. I think it would take something uh, outrageously important to take the man Pen you himself mm -hmm. out of his own foundation and take all this bloody materials yeah, that he supposedly he had do all, all troll off to Africa. He would have had to hire someone to haul all that for him. He was an older man. Yeah, they, they have things this. here. Well, the Carlisle expedition was pretty pretty well. Know, there were there were it wasn't just the the seven mm. principles. There were a lot of. I'd like to see his correspondence. I would too. I'd like to get into his office. Oh, it can't be done. <laughs> <laughs> La la la, la 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 la. What are we talking about, Donald? 
Dinner? You want to go to dinner? <laughs> no, I'm listening <laughs> to this Late actually. Night? This is open window, closed door, doesn't matter. Open window is probably the easiest. All right. Well, I I've already had some police activities recently, so. <laughs> la, 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 la. No, I think you two go back to the hotel and Donald and I will wait. Mm. Uh, oh, we can get some food first. Right. Food would be a good idea. He's not a bad second story. Yeah, I was gonna say, did you wanna? Do you want? Do you wanna join us? I I am actually very interested in this. It it's excellent. Oh, lovely. really? Uh, an incredible coincidence. I'm sorry. I'm used to you running away when there's a problem. Well, <laughs> if it's something horrible coming out of someone's mouth named Francois, we are not. <laughs> Then talking then about it. that with bells, not cards. even. Not there's there's different kinds of danger. E either way, um, like it, it very much strikes me. I mean, the fact that there's really no interesting information mm -hmm. here, and the fact that this is where the letter was sent to, and those men came to look for interesting information to take it from you. Yes, and the I'm, very same day you visited this place. Well, and I strongly suspect that I may be the next target of that sort of a visit because he recognized me. Mm. So, yeah, From I mean, the opera, certainly, I'd... but it seems odd. Well, I will tell you guys, I do not want to be all by myself this evening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you should check if the police will assign someone. To you. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll offer security to you. Yeah, it yeah, seems they do safer to break in the Pinu Foundation than to be alone. Yes, <laughs> I mean, unless you want to go spend time with Emma and make sure she's all right. Yeah, if you're with Emma, you can't possibly be killed. Nothing can so possibly <laughs> happen wrong there. I Nothing can go wrong with Emma. But that She's is got another Emma. There's Emma is a plenty. So. She's on Emma 9 at this point. So, but the, that, that, that is a good point. That is a good point, and I wouldn't be alone. I've played with Amy for so long that I played with her when a character wasn't named Emma. What? Oh. <laughs> All right. I, I, I do think that none of us should be by ourselves, and, and we've that. left Emma alone for far too long. Yes. All right. Her so first you... fighter was named <laughs> Marina. Oh. Okay, that I mean, sounds Thomas familiar. is nodding, so that's probably yeah. correct. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was the halfling that rode a dog. Yeah, that had the invisible that halfling arm, army. Oh, I love that. <laughs> the little halfling army. Invisible. <laughs> Friends yes. of mine are, are actually doing, doing a campaign with blink that's dogs cool. where all of them are like gnomes and halflings riding blink dogs. That's awesome. Which is just the coolest thing. Uh, all right, so you guys are going to break into the pen you found it. Are you going to go spend the time Let's with Emma? It. All right. Um, she she seems to be, all the worst ideas. Obviously, don't want me there. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, so, so Emma, is, she's she still. Seems to be doing better. Better. better, uh, better. Oh. Are you. She's still at the Pemberton. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. She's still at the Pemberton. Ah. Uh, I have a little bit of disguise uh, that I can do that. Um, <laughs> sure, make me a disguise roll. We have those wigs. Yep. You know what? For the wig, I'll give you advantage. Ooh. There you go. Ooh. Mm. The I see a 35. five. I see a thirty-five. Thirty-five, but I'm thirty is my. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, you could spend luck. Yes. No. Five points of luck. Don't spend five, five no, that's points a of luck. luck. You that's could inspire much. that. Inspired. You've only got eighty-seven inspiration left. I think we do. We've got a lot. All right. We do. Let's do these. I'll do one of these ones. Thank you. If you got advantage and you're re-rolling, yeah. yeah, you're gonna probably yeah, you, and you, and you, re and you still have advantage. Advantage. somehow yeah. fumble it'll be fun <laughs> <laughs> right. well, it would be the most you epic aim like, yeah oh. that would be that would be the ultra oh, if you have that's an advantage much better all right boom. Oh. i see a zero six yeah, yeah. yeah so you and that are... is that's disguise check that box that's uh, the box. Box. box and that's my best extreme boom all right you got an extreme yeah. success the problem um, was before you had the wig on backwards yeah <laughs> covering your face oh, yeah, oh, see. Oh, yeah, like twisting around we weirdly, you know, you walk in and you're a three foot tall African midget. <laughs> little person, pardon me, little, little person. Little person, yes. Oh, Lord. Uh, so, yeah, you are, Emma doesn't even recognize you. That's okay, I'll sit and read her a story or something. There you go. All right, so you're going to break into the Penu Foundation. Do you remember the last time we broke into somewhere? No, I don't. We don't talk about that. <laughs> no, okay. we, we've never done this. Well, never. We, uh, we've all seen the inside of the area. We know where the offices are. Yes. Second floor, I believe. Yeah. Uh, first floor. First the offices floor. were on the first floor. E easy enough. We yeah. Just... We don't want to go in to get into the reading rooms because those were yeah. in front. But in when the you, back, and the you get locked Gavigan's in. Gavigan's office okay. was right here. Okay. So you came in, 
You went here through this little antechamber right in here. Was there, was there a What's window? What's on the window? back? You did not go there. Was there, there a, a back door? There's a loading dock, yes. Let's, let's go to the loading dock. Let's have a look. Yeah. All right. Uh, both, all three of you make me a luck roll. Oh. All right, 17 success. Success, 28. Nope. All right, uh, the loading dock is empty. Uh, it's closed up for the night. Uh, Good. It is, uh, oh, is there's a so coal chute, and then there's a back go. door. A lock picks out, a back door. It's a Sunday night. We should be should be fine. All right, I'm going to keep watch while, while he... So there's a sliding locks. gate that you're going to need look to climb as well. over. Are we going to climb over it? Yeah. Great. Are we can unlock the gate? I mean, you could try and unlock the gate, sure. But that's a little harder. You're, like, in the roadway, yeah. you know. If we climb, let's just climb over it. Don, I'll give me a boost. Sure. Sure, yeah, you get... Don't worry about the rules. Okay. You get over it. It's fine. Um, just get over so, it. Just get over it. <laughs> uh, so there is... Yeah, there's a door, and it looks like there's also a coal chute here. I'll start with the door. Okay. Lock pick. All right, I'm going to keep watch while he's doing that. Okay. 16. Yeah. I'm going to check right. that box. Nice. Yeah. Let's do it. So you, you pop the back door open. Uh, was that a hard success? It was one away, so it's a regular success. Okay. Okay. Um, you you pop the door open, uh, and you are now you are in this hallway. All right. All right. I'm going to listen very intently and see if anyone is in the building. See if I can hear anyone. Well, you make me li- uh, all three. Of you make me listen. listen roll. Roll. Uh, I failed that, unfortunately. Failed. Oh, you got a four! Yeah, I made it. All right, the man. Uh, there are clearly footsteps upstairs. And that's a critical Listen. success. Nice, yeah, there are clearly footsteps upstairs. Yeah. It sounds like two sets Okay. Of footsteps upstairs. Sounds like two people are upstairs. Okay. All right, so if two people are upstairs. We'll stay on the first floor for now. We move quickly and quietly. All right, we'll go quickly to first to Gavigan's office. Don't turn on any lights. Right. All right, so you head to this door. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then you head to this door. Uh, and you come into Gavigan's office. It's not locked? It's not locked. All right. Okay. Let's split up, search different areas. Okay. Um, there is... Uh, so, all three of you make me spot hidden rolls. Uh, Fuck. Jeez. I just rolled another four. Success. How did you do right. that? I've no. cheated, I Regular. assume. <laughs> Regular success. Uh, spot hidden. Nope, didn't make it. All right. All right. Uh, but he got a four. Jeez, I'm on point. Nice. Yeah. Is, I'm so glad we brought you. <laughs> and we found the smoking gun. Now let's get out. <laughs> Very film noir of you, friend. <laughs> you find... Where is... Aha. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. We're getting new information. <sighs> handouts? I like handouts. Me, too. This is stuff I've never seen before. Mm. You find a telegram. Good. Read it to us with all the stops. And do you want to read it? Yeah, it's you go ahead. Horrible reading. Okay. <laughs> um, he has multiple things, so we can take turns. Post office telegrams. If there is a doubt about the accuracy of any part of the telegram or telegrams, inquire. Call Just the... read the message itself. All right. Twerp. <laughs> Edward Gavigan, Pinhue Foundation. He's a dig. Well, all is planned. Work. A pace. A pace at an unpronounceable location. Mycernius? Mycernius? Yeah, that sounds as good a name as any. Hmm. Thank you for all your assistance. Most helpful. Dr. H. Clive Plus. Who's that? I don't know. Never had anyone with a plus at the end of their name. Okay, let me see that. All right. Record that information. Uh, the plus That's means end. that, yeah, end. End. That means end. Hmm. Um, he's a dick. We're going to Giza. You made a regular success? Regular success. All right. Um, there is, uh, there is a floor safe. Oh, yeah. Behind the desk. And safe. On the desk is a photograph of a manor house. It's a three story country mansion. And it says, Misser House, M-I-S-R. M-I-S-R? Yes. Hmm. 
Interesting. This, uh, the safe, any chance this can be picked or it needs combination? When you try it, the handle turns. Oh, good. I'll, I will open the safe. All right, you open the safe. You got all the information you need so. now? I'm going to place this back exactly where I found it. Yes. Um, you find um, a packet of one pound notes of, uh, and the band says 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking it. Anything else in there? Zero of six. I'll look underneath anything. Anything else? Nope. That is all that is in there. Your month day, right? Oh. Hundred pounds. I will close it. Leave the money where it was. Okay. Your time. That's right. a that's a solid question. Is this November twenty fourth, nineteen oh six? When Let was this see. sent? It's in the corner there. No, it's nineteen twenty four. Ah. So that is it's um, uh, the notation Europeans do the day. Uh, do the month, then the day. It makes, right. it makes sense. Uh, so this is... Month, day, year. Oh, this is the 6th of November, 1924. Mm -hmm. It's when it was sent. Okay. Then I... Very carefully put the... it back. Good. All right. I don't think I need Wipe, wipe things things. off bits. Leave the safe the way I found it. Leave that the way we found it. it we'll keep searching. Is there anything else in the safe? All the, Just money. No, you can put that out there in the, put it in the party. No, here. we have our notes because we put it back, so we aren't going to be Oh, obvious. you're keeping, oh, the tell, oh, I see. We, we are carefully putting things back well, after, right. after memorizing everything. Okay. Excuse me. Which is a waste of perfectly nice prop like that. <laughs> well, you know no, what? It is nice. That is well done. I love these sorts. I love the mm -hmm. props they put together. I love the uh, mm -hmm. Miskatonic. Uh, they, they do great work. They really do. Um, Let's keep searching. The, yeah. the like, file, filing cabinets where we might find some correspondence. Yeah, I'm so, looking for recent <coughs> letters as well to see if anything was received or not. There is So this office is... S s boring. Super boring and hmm. super clean. Mm. Okay. Other than a hundred pounds. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So there's nothing in here. Uh, let's Besides leave it the, the way door. we found it. Of course. Yeah. And I mean, I probably should have mentioned before that I'm wearing gloves. Right. Do we hear? I anything? mean, fingerprinting. Not that fingerprinting is really a thing yeah, yet, but I'm, I'm highly. So, although I'm Scotland extra... Yard in the 20s was the the industry standard they, yeah, of they fingerprinting. Partial 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 thanks to Arthur Conan Doyle. Here, because I'm gonna listen outside before stepping out. All right. Make a listen roll. You should do this too. I'm gonna, yes. yeah. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you guys should do that too. <laughs> Use up all the. Loudly. Nope! <laughs> Whoa! No, I failed. 92. As well. It's not a fumble. 92. So, if yeah. we don't hear anything, the trick is to exit very slowly. Okay, no. Slowly. Who has the highest listen? I'm, I'm, I didn't hear anything. No. Who has the highest, highest listen? Who do we inspire? Oh, that's metagaming. Oh. No. Yes. Very <laughs> slowly peek my head out. Of all right, the door. you. So, Fine. remember. Um, there's like a little antechamber here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you poke your head out in that antechamber and everything seems fine. I'm moving very slowly. Do we okay. have any idea where Dr. Penn Hughes' office would have been? And is there a larger office, a main office? All right, so we know that there's reading rooms along this corridor. I mean, the, mm -hmm. the Can I see that map again? would probably be upstairs. Uh, there's there's this that's door where... here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That large office there. Let's try it. Let's, 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 let's have a look. This is peeking. Well, listen at the door. Listen at the door first. Yeah. Well, I think they're upstairs, or they're going to be coming down the halls. I'm looking for lights. Yeah. I'm assuming if they they got flashlights. So I'm hoping that's. So we're, we're listening at the door to the other large okay. room. That's okay. Back there. I got a critical success on my listen roll. Actually, that's a hard success, not critical. All right. Uh, I, got, I got a success, not a critical. So you got a hard success. Uh, Seventeen is a hard success. This is. Are we doing another listen? Listen. Yeah, that's another hard. I got a hard success. All right, you well. both hear footsteps coming down the stairs. Oh, they're, oh, they're, they're coming. Uh... And the stairway is right here. Okay. And you are right there. We need to right head towards there. the front. Quiet. We need to get in somewhere quietly. Like we shouldn't. We, we can't. No time. I'm just. I'm just slowly opening right, this door. Are you, are you? Which this door? Um, if they're coming, this if I hear them, locked. and especially oh. if I see lights, I'm going to go the opposite. Yes, the light has hit the stairway here. Okay. I'm I'm looking for whatever. Uh, yeah, that's coming so, down. Yeah, the light has hit this way. Uh, as you start to come down this way, all the reading rooms are locked. Yeah. Antechamber, go back. Yeah, we have to go back to where we. Go back to the antechamber. Okay. All right. So you slip in here. Everybody, make me a stealth roll. 
Oh, no. See, this is what we save the inspiration for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need to. I'm going to re-roll that. I'm going to re-roll that, that as well. Give well. me with some inspiration. Okay. Oh, One. Hey, I've been so off. Oh, oh, all yours, Francois. This is how we clean it out. <laughs> all right, success now. Oi. It's like Jenga now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that was a nice. I'm sure it was. I don't look at that. Excellent. Oh, cool. Excellent. Yeah, I made it. Okay. Right I got a hard. I got a hard success. All nice. right. Check it off um, nicely it. done, nicely done. Whew. Thank you, community, for giving us inspiration. <laughs> we really needed it yep. today. We're, we've been uh, using it a bit, haven't we? So we are, are you pretty much sitting in the antechamber, basically? Yeah. We're at six. Holding Anywhere to breath. hide in here? No, this is like an open hallway. There's like a chair. So we're like we're, ducking we're, into the antechamber. around the corner we can go? There's no, there's no corner. I don't duck behind the this chair. This is... Mm -hmm. Here, there's oh, a chair in this corner. All right. I like grab, office. I like grab Donald's elbow and pull him into the antechamber. <laughs> all right, so yeah, you're all in that hallway. It's in the choir um, room. You hear footsteps, mm -hmm. clack, 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 clack. Guys whistling. Okay. But it, it, it sounds like a, a man walking through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it sounds like it heads down the hallway. Mm-hmm. Just wait and listen. About. Ten minutes later, it's coming back, mm -hmm. and you hear, chick, chick. Chick, chick. Chick, chick. Mm -hmm. good, chick, chick. Uh, checking every door. Mm -hmm. uh, are you gonna? You're gonna. She's gonna lock it. Yeah, just right. and lock it. Um, wait, it wasn't locked. I'm not yeah, gonna it lock locked, it. Right? It was. It wasn't locked, and he would notice that it was different. So yeah, I'm gonna like tuck, tuck as far into the corner as possible, but mm -hmm. not lock it. All right. It wasn't locked, and that would be different. Your door opens, mm -hmm. and a guard walks in. And there's n like you're not hiding in here. Just up against the wall, I'm hoping he doesn't wall. flash We're the light. Really right? still. He is so he's heading towards Gavigan's office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're like pressed up against the wall that the door is on. <sighs> I, I'm gonna need coming. hard luck rolls from all of you. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm planning to it. resort to something else. But, but it wasn't locked before. Oh, a 12. A 12 has got to be a hard success on luck, right? No. No. Did you fumble? Please tell me you fumbled. Mm-hmm. Oh! I got a 96. Oh, oh, beautiful. Son of a bitch. That is beautiful. We all have to clock him at once. Uh, <laughs> I telepathically uh, communicate. I'm sorry. Guys. That is beautiful. I was, I know what my luck is, so, so I knew good. what I was going to do anyways. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have to go after him at the same time. Just I was going to close line him as soon as I was, was going to pray, <laughs> but I didn't think praying was going to work. So, so he, he so opens the does. door, and like his flashlight is down because he's done this mm -hmm. yeah. so many times. Um, he, uh, it's like two nineties in a in the same session. I hate this. He opens the door. And he swings the flashlight around, um, and you're behind the chair, mm -hmm. like trying to. And because his flashlight is low, Catch his flashlight sees your feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> throw the chair at him. What's well, so all they said? Whack! <laughs> all right, you want to throw the chair? Yep. You can, you can try. Oh, is why this a did you choose the least quiet? Because otherwise, I would be stabbing him. <laughs> All right, uh, you know that's that she's that's got a point. Is. Yep. Seventy-one. All right, so you like pick up the chair and you sort of like shove it. Uh huh. Um, and uh, and I mean I could probably stab him, but I don't think that's what we want. With the um, yeah, I mean you fumbled. So when you when the when the uh, when the chair comes up, he just goes, "Oi, Reg." Oh, Reg. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, and it, we're going to initiatives. Yep. Um, this yeah. guy's... We, we have to wait for Tom to get back because his is an 80. Oh, there we go. Tom! Yes. What are you doing? He fled. <laughs> he ran. Right, so if you're tackling him, I'll, I'll help. I'm... I'm uh, all right, chair. I'm there. chair him and it didn't work, and he just yelled, Oi, Reg. And you're going to be performing right. initiative because you're right. higher deck. Run to him to try to tackle him. All right, so 90s, 80s. 80. So he's 80. Yeah? 
Yeah. <sighs> All right, so this will be an unarmed versus his dodge. All right. Fighting brawl is 27. That Ooh. is... It's I'm a regular use success. Some GM inspiration. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I gotta oh. use this all. Mm -hmm. All of it? No, you don't. Uh, Stop sliding down the chair. That's a regular. So you got a regular, regular success. success. All right. Yeah. So he dodges. I dropped it. Okay. He ah. dodges out of the way. You like mm -hmm. go to cry and grab him. Mm -hmm. He dodges out of the way. Uh, 80, uh, 70s. 75. He sees always go first. <sighs> I don't want to stab him. Take I want to stab him, but I don't want to stab him. There's a non-sharp part of the knife. Uh, it's kind of like stabbing, but without the, uh, I think, the stabby part. I yeah. think that's called fighting brawl yes. when you're punching someone. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to try to... I guess I'm going to try to punch him. Try to All right, him unarmed. Off. I hate this. Yeah, no, it's 57. All right, you come in and... Yeah, it's like it's almost like fighting without knives. You're not sure what's going on. Yeah, it's not something uh, I'm used to. What's your initiative? Uh, 55. All right, for dramatic reasons, go for go next. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna try and clock him. All right. And fighting. is that a yeah? That's a hard success. Nice. nice. All right, you do max damage. So fist is what a D3 plus your damage bonus. Yes. Okay, could mm -hmm. I have slid it on my brass knuckles to just get a little? Uh. Did, do you, oh yeah, you yeah. got brass knuckles. Yeah, of um, course, use brass knuckles. Yeah, you probably you knew this was coming. Sure. So that's a D six plus your damage bonus, isn't it? Okay, and my damage bonus is nothing. All right, so you do six <laughs> points of damage to this mm -hmm. guy. I'm gonna make him make a con roll. Mm -hmm. He rolls very well. You, Damn. Um, and uh, as we fade the cameras for this week, of course, you clock him with brass knuckles. And as you clock him with brass knuckles, his jaw like splashes like liquid. Oh, oh no. no. And um, I made the wrong decision. Today. Daggers are coming out now. <laughs> and some of you are very familiar with the squawking sound that you hear. No! No, 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 no! <sighs> if only someone was here with a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, where are you? Um, and you're not going to be here next week. Oh, man. Oh, you can't be killed. Yeah, I'll, be fine. <laughs> you guys are, I'll be fine. Oh, man, i got to um, bring the crowbar. <laughs> leave your character sheet with me. They might need some help yeah, in this yeah. fight. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, until next week. Uh, this was... Boo. Well, it was Thank very you. different. This went yeah. about as well as I could have hoped it could have. Yeah. Wow. I'm very happy with this. Uh, thank you so much uh, for way too much inspiration. Thank you, Hef. Thank very you, everyone. Inspiring. It was yeah. necessary. It so was, uh, we, we break it down to four, right? Yes, Everything so we have four? four over here and one, That's actually and two. So we have six, I think. We How many do you have? I have... I have because unused GM inspiration goes into the boys. I have too. four, but I get to keep four too, no, right? No, you don't. That doesn't need inspiration. No, so we put six into the boy. Yep, six go there. Okay, good. Uh, and wow, that's a that's got to be a record for us, uh, definitely. Thank you for spending part of your geek end with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, I had a great time. Thanks for playing, everybody. Yeah. Uh, so don't forget Monday. It's natural one. Start your week with a critical fail. Tuesdays, it's the Chaos Agents not doing whatever they say they're going to do. Uh, Wednesdays, it's board games. I think it's Pandemic this week. I think so. Yeah. yeah okay. uh, I've, I've got a bunch of Essen stuff up there. There's a really interesting interview coming up with some guys in Europe's RPG, uh, a group called the Dragon Legion. I really recommend everybody watch that. It is super cool. Uh, and something that I would love to see start here in the USA. It's essentially, they're trying to create a connected network of gamers. Ooh. Uh, it's a, a really cool idea. Uh, so those will be coming up, and uh, we're back here next Saturday. Uh, yes! And I'm sure Tom can't die, because he's not going to be here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you sure you can't be here? He's a, you know, it's here. funny you brought your backup character, because that <laughs> makes me think you could die. I mean, that's... That was a that's poor choice, think. friend. Uh, your backup character that now loves the party. I know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Alexandra did try to get in nice with him, where it's like, I'm sorry, I'm trying to help. It helped a tiny bit. Uh, so, quotes for this time. Uh, guns are a bit noisy. <laughs> <laughs> My personal favorite, you're a monster. <laughs>
Uh, and come for the spice, stay for the murder. Yes. That's a, yes. That's a good one. Yes. Uh, Pity we can't use that one. Or or guns are a bit loud in the in the title. Uh, yeah. So we will see you next Saturday, and uh, hopefully by then I won't be quite as jet lagged as I am now because <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's uh, get Ezra home so he can get some sleep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, internet friends. I want to freeze again and see if the Baroness shows no, up. No, no, just keep waiting, keep waiting. Baroness? I don't think, I don't think she's here. Oh. Wherever she may be. Wherever <laughs> she may be.